What bitch? this I'm like 13 kilometers away from it have anything. It's the only reason why they're not attacking me, probably. Is someone shooting somebody? Sidewinder. Fuck, it's clean. Follow you around, big dog. Stop it. Fly Robin Fly by Silver Convention. I've ne Luigi, dude, you, your mind is like a compendium of fucking musical facts, and 95% of it are bands I haven't heard of because they existed before I was born. This is bullshit. Where are all the motherfuckers at, dude? I'm trying to kill somebody. Fucking transporter. Things probably got shields for days. Whoa. All right, buddy. Yeah, maybe. Too many Jeffs, dude. What's up with you? Can you help me out with this game? <laughs> I need like $4 million right now. And I can't find anybody. I've been on here for 15 minutes. I haven't fought anybody. I need to go to another spot. That's my problem. This place is burned. Problem is, the only other spot around here is fucking hazardous. So I don't know. We do have another planet I could go to.
Well, by help, I really just meant... Am I doing... Am I doing this right? <laughs> I feel like I'm wasting time. Like, there's money to be made and I'm not doing it correctly. You know what I mean? But, I mean, I've done so much research on this game and literally everyone and their mother says that... Pick a different system. Yeah. I know there's a system I fucking tagged. Where's Brawny? Oh, wait, no, I'm in the... Hold on. Anyway, everyone and their mother on YouTube is like, yo, go grind bounties, and then you'll have enough to go, like, buy your first decent fucking thing. And I was like, okay, that makes sense. Where's... Brawny? Is that the name of it? Ronnie. Ronnie. Alright, I'm pretty sure. Do exploration for the first 10 to 20 mil? Okay, well, exploration is a thing I don't know much about. But here we go. Ronnie 13. This is that shit. Got metal rich, icy. Well, not that I'm mining, so it doesn't really make a difference, but. I think this is only a few jumps away. Two million or so, I can teach you how to make bank doing exploration. Okay, so I'm close. I got um Okay, I have seven hundred and seventy five in the bank, and then I gotta turn in about three hundred so I've got like one point one million. Which is not two. So, if, but I could knock out 900, like, right now, you know? I just need... Ooh, there's people here now. Okay. Hold the fuck up. So, let me, let me, let me smoke 900 grand worth of people, and then I'll hit you up, and we'll, we'll figure my life out. Alright, who's shooting who, dude? Here we go. Trying to scan that ass, boy. Make me some money. Get fucking fucked. Bitch. There's 22 right there, dude. Drink that dose. Do I have an hour or so? If so, I can get it started. We don't have to wait for you to get the full... Okay. Yeah, no. I got an hour. Dude, I got... I got fucking four hours. I got a lot of time. If you, if it's easier for you, you can. Uh, d do you want to hop into my Discord and you could like actually talk? I don't know if you're. Oh shit! What's going on here? There's a Discord link in the uh, in the description of the channel. Oh, you trying to bounce? That, dude. Uh oh, am I getting shot at? I'm getting shot at. Who's shooting at me? This some bitch right here? Oh fuck. Oh fuck. What the hell? Yo, we got problems. Oh, we got major problems. Oh, I'm about to fucking die! <laughs> oh, man. I wasn't looking at chat. I didn't see what you said. I didn't realize. I thought it was just like a fluke thing. And then by the time I figured out what was happening, I got my ass smoked. Okay. So, anyway. I guess we can start now. So, now I'm just 40,000 less from there. So, now I'm like only a third of the way there. Ah, <sighs> this game, dude. I'm not even, like, upset, though. Just chop it up to the game. Okay, so. Is there something I can do from here? Or should I find a system where I need to buy a certain fucking ship? Or can I use my, uh... What do I have? Viper MK4? <clears throat> I'll 
to start jumping into Discord. Oh, okay. Let me get into Discord myself. I'm not even a hat. Stupid. Docker17 is my uh, username. We'll probably be in the voice dump channel. Test. All right, that should be good. Da -da 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 no, I want you to be in the corner. There we go. And you go here. Andrew Savat. I feel like that's. Hey, can you hear me? What's up, dude? Hey. Yeah. Okay, so um, there's a thing that a bunch of people put together, or a guy, I guess, put together um, for exploration called okay. um, Road to Riches. And uh, essentially all you need on your ship, uh, it helps to have a good jump range. Um, okay. It helps to have a fuel scoop and right. uh, some, fuel, some extra fuel tanks. But if you have a fuel scoop, it doesn't matter too much. Um, okay. But essentially, uh, I can. You're kind of on a delay, but I can still see what's going on. Um, well, you can hear me in Discord. Oh, you mean the the view the right? What you're seeing is a delay. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, ten light year jumps. What are you flying around a sidewinder? No, I've got a, a Viper MK4. All right, one second. Because when I, I mean, it was like the first day I had this game and I was like, everyone was like, oh, get a Viper MK3, get a Viper MK3 if you want to do bounties. It's like cheap and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, but the four's got more spe I didn't realize like how bad the maneuverability is compared to the three. <laughs> but. Okay. So um, go ahead and do this for me. You don't have to sell any of this equipment, but I do need you to strip down your ship. So. <laughs> okay. So put it all in my. Uh... Um, you can get rid of, keep the shield generator, um, you can, uh, store or sell the cargo racks. Okay. Um, actually, hold on a second, hold on a second before you, before you do anything. Okay. Go to, um, go to that empty compartment, the level one empty internal compartment. Okay. And pull up the list, um, pull up your shopping list. Because we need to buy two things. We need to buy a detailed surface scanner. And we need to uh, buy a... Okay, so the stellar body scanner. Uh-huh. Um, click on those. Get, there's only one, so get that guy. Well, there's... Um, yeah, open it up. What is it? What does it say? It's a 1E. E. Um, hold on a second. I have a discovery scanner, though. I mean, that I could throw on. What type of uh, discovery scanner? Let me see here. <clears throat> basic, a 1E basic discovery scanner. Which is the only thing this place is selling anyway. Although I'm not in a very economy-driven system right now. There isn't much shit here in terms of technology. Okay. Actually. <clears throat> um, yeah, you can go ahead and put the... Um, go ahead and put the basic discovery scanner on there. Okay. You got it. What system are you in currently? I am in... got to back out of this to be able to see. LHS 3447. All right. Do you know what uh, you're at Blueford? Yeah. Well, I believe, yeah, I believe I'm at Blueford right now. Let me make sure I'm pretty, yeah, I have to be. Okay. The other ones here. Yeah, I'm at Blueford. All right, go ahead and pull up your um, 
Go ahead and pull up your system map real quick. <clears throat> okay. And what I'm doing right now is I'm using a tool called EDDB, which... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I saw okay. that. It, ma it maps, like, routes for you and shit, right? Well, okay, so the thing I'm using it for is... Um, what is the... What is the arrival distance for Blueford? 2109. Uh, 2,000,108 okay. light seconds. So what I need you to do is, um, are you using this station as a, as a, I, like a staging I haven't, point? It, it is to a degree because I, there's a lot of uh, inventory that I've swapped out here. Uh, but I have inventory all over the fucking galaxy. Like... <laughs> I never, because I, I haven't been playing long enough to like establish myself or know where to establish myself. Okay. So, all right. So, um, first things first, uh, go ahead and um, you put on the basic discovery scanner. We need yeah. to get you a detailed surface scanner, and there's one at Lawson Orbital in the same system. Okay. Um, so it's uh, it's somewhere in uh, LHS three four four seven. I just Lawson I don't know. Orbital, yeah, I got I it. I don't know where. No problem. Um, I got it. So we need to we need to burn over there, and basically we, uh, we need a fuel scoop for the ship. I've got a fuel scoop. I can throw that on here. All right, throw that on there. Uh, fuel scoop, discovery scanners. Yeah. So. Um, Anything else that I got in here? I might need. Uh, uh, you need the. Um, did you put on the uh, discovery scanner? Yes, I got a discovery scanner. I got a fuel scoop. Okay. Uh, I kept my shield generator and I kept my cargo racks because why not? But I mean, are they are they heavy? Is that the problem? Cargo racks don't generate um, weight for your ship unless you put something in them. So. Oh, okay. So they're fine. Uh, yeah, they're they're okay at the moment. Uh, go ahead and drop basically all of your weapons and okay. drop. Oops. Yeah, drop all of your weapons and then open up your core, uh, core internal, so I can check them out. Okay. <clears throat> and what we're I doing? I guess. I guess if anything, this would probably be where I'm. Where I'm, is my closest thing to a home point? Because like half of my gear is here, and now even more of it is here. So, does it stay within the system or only within the station that you're at? It only stays within the station, but you can move it around if you want to. Right, but the further away you are, the longer it takes. And the more it costs. Right. Um, and you can, I mean, you can always come back and, and grab this stuff later, but... Right, right, right. Oh, I plan on, I mean, none of it is any good anyway. Like, I'm planning on getting a ship where I wouldn't want to use any of this. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, so I'm going to shoot you... Um, I'm going to shoot you an infographic. That will explain a little bit of what we're doing. Okay, I'm in my core internal. <clears throat> uh, you can throw it in the dumping channel. Actually, um, I'll post it to I, I posted it to Twitch just in case somebody else wants to. Oh, okay, that makes uh -huh. sense actually. Oh. Oh. It's not actually the link that I meant to post, but... Well, then... <laughs> Here. That that one's better. That's the actual picture I want you to look at. Okay. So, um... Oh, wow. Once you have your weapons... Um, oh. I was going to do something. this up on the channel so people can see it oh yeah that's actually a good idea <clears throat> how much is a damn detailed surface scanner all right so um essentially what we're going to be doing uh oh, okay 250 grand all right um all right do one uh, go back to eve real quick 
or Eve, uh, Elite. <laughs> yeah, gonna, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I may do that again. Um, go back to Elite and uh, click on your frame shift drive and tell me, show me if they have any options for you to upgrade it here. Not, not that are better than mine. I've got a 4E, so I mean. Is there a 4D? Is there any other 4s? There's no other 4s here. Yeah. Okay. Like um, I said, I'm not in a good system for technology. Okay. Uh, all right, so. We might as well just go to an, go to another system that's got everything instead of just hopping a little bit to. Uh, well, we're gonna to see about place, we're right? gonna see about uh, building up a little bit of uh, uh, building up a little bit of money and then upgrading your ship so that you're better at making money and then I'm gonna set you loose on the universe and as soon as you have all <laughs> the money you want. Uh, you can come back here and start to build a ship or whatever and do whatever the hell it is that you would like to do. Yeah. Um, okay, so pull up that info infographic uh, one more one more time. You ready? <clears throat> all right, so uh, here's basically what exploration is all about in Elite. Um, any system that isn't a highly uh, notorious system like Sol or the beginning systems or any system that you've purchased exploration data in, um, any system that you essentially you have not explored mm -hmm. will show up as unexplored. And mm -hmm. whenever you go into a system, there's two different scanner types. There's the uh, discovery scanner and there's three versions of that. There's a basic, intermediate, and advanced. Um, and the only difference between them is that I know of is um, distance. distance. So okay. the basic, you have to be within 500 light years. The uh, intermediate, you have to be within 1,000 light years. And the advanced, surf uh, the, uh, the advanced discovery scanner, uh, it's called a honk. And you basically just run it through once and it mm -hmm. sees everything in the system. It has an infinite range. Oh, wow. And so the very first time you do this, for every planet, for every body, every star, everything, mm -hmm. you're actually going to get a voucher that you can then, like you can turn in that discovery information oh, the, for the data money. vouchers. That's right. I yeah, I, okay. I vaguely remember doing that All for right. the first few systems I got. Anyway, go ahead. All right. So if you look at the numbers below some of these bodies, it shows you um, basically how much it is if you just run the advanced data, uh, advanced discovery scanner. But then the the number in green is the one that we're really after. Mm -hmm. Now. Some of these might not seem like a lot. It's like two grand or whatever. But if you mm -hmm. look on the left-hand side, just under halfway down, they have the high metal content worlds um, and the water worlds ah. and the earth-like worlds and the ammonia worlds. And if you're yeah. noticing, some of those are half a million. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Okay, so some, what somebody did was they created a web app and you give it a location that you want to start from. Mm -hmm. And by the time, all it's going to do is tell you where to jump from one system to the next. Uh, and then it tells you exactly which bodies in that system are worth any money. Huh. And so if it's a terraformable, um, uh, high uh, metal content world, it will it pops up on the list. If it's a terraformable water world, it pops up on the list. Mm -hmm. um, if it's an Earth-like world or an ammonia world, it pops up on the list. But that's it. Those are basically the only ones that show up. Yeah. And, oh, wow. Okay. And so what we're going to do is you're going to pick a... We're going to go fly out to Lawson, and you're going to pick up a data scanner. <clears throat> okay. And then essentially the gist of this is, is going to be... Um, there's some of these where it's like four plan like w most of these you're going to have one planet basically has you know is worth some money right um, as long as there's one almost it makes it worth it right so let me post this next link should i make my way out to lawson real quick yeah go ahead and start flying out to lawson because you're going to need okay. the data scanner that's out there okay put them on this other thing all right i have this this one you just sent uh, open on my other 
screen so I can see it. All right. So okay. So this is where I put. Okay. So that's my starting point is LHS three four four seven. Right. So you start in LHS three four four seven. The first jump is um, Alrise Sector O N dash T. Right. Right. Okay. So um, essentially, what you're going to do is it's and this is really up to you. You can go to some of these systems that have um, just one planet, if you like. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, but it is completely feasible that you just go to, like, there's HIP 79127. Um, the next so one... So I could just go straight there, almost. Yeah, like, you can just I... go straight there and hit the, the systems that have, like, four of them. And that's $2 million. Holy just shit. in that one system. And it's going to... In... HIP? In HIP 79126. Oh, wow. You're Okay, yeah, that's the 5958. It's, it's that added up? Well, yeah, each one of those is worth a half a million. Holy shit. Right. We got to go. We right, got to okay. go there now. <laughs> All right, so you're, 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 you got the system now. So yeah, yeah, yeah. essentially what you're going to be doing is just picking one of these. Woo, and look at number 20, dude. Yeah. There's like, there's like almost 4 million there. Holy shit! I was, I've been doing it all wrong. <laughs> and so, this is this is uh, uh, the the reason why it's called the Road to Riches is basically the guy who did this. Um, he came up with a string of like 400 jumps, and mm -hmm. if all you did was do these 400 jumps and hit exactly the planets that he told you to hit, uh -huh. you could come back into um, into the bubble and turn everything in and go from uh, beginner exploration to elite instantly. <laughs> um, and it's it's something like 400 million credits. Oh, uh, wow. It's enough money that you could outfit a Python completely with no problem. You, right. couldn't, you couldn't do a battle conda, but you could do like a trade anaconda. Um, you can do like there's a lot of stuff you can do with 400 million bucks, but it takes a little bit of time. And so yeah. um, this is the best way to build up massive amounts of money with absolutely zero risk. Yeah. And just yeah. as long as you're not flying into planets, you're fine. Uh, <laughs> but it's basically absolutely zero risk and very little money to start in on. Um, yeah, no kidding. Now you could technically do this in a sidewinder, I guess, right? I yeah, mean, you could do you could do this in anything. Now, what you're gonna want to do is, um, so the Diamondback Explorer is two million bucks. Okay. Um, so my my and the Diamondback Explorer has a huge jump range. It's like forty one light years, starting oh, off. Okay. Like it's a okay. it's a generous jump range. Okay. Um, so what I would do is, uh, I would basically suggest that you go and do a couple systems or something yeah we'll go do probably five or six i would say six systems. oh so uh, we can deck it out pretty well or actually actually I take that back do 10 planets just whichever okay. planets off of that list you want to okay. go and do 10 go back and turn that in and after you turn that in you're going to want to upgrade your basic discovery scanner to an advanced discovery scanner Mm -hmm. And then you're going to want, because the advanced discovery scanner costs like a million two or a million three. Um, and then you're going to want to upgrade. You're going to want to start saving money to upgrade the Diamondback Explorer and uh, get it set up for um, exploration. Okay. And so the base Diamondback Explorer. One second. Okay, so a uh, a generous Diamondback Explorer with um, thirty-seven, almost thirty-seven and a half light year jump range, mm -hmm. uh, but is basically a flying fuel scoop with a discovery scanner and a detailed surface scanner. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to run you a. Uh, it's going to run you twelve million bucks. So oh, wow. okay, um, it's up to you. You can decide to. Just continue doing the work. The work in, because uh, all of the speed of the Viper doesn't matter because everything trans uh, transverses through 
uh, super crews at the same rate. And so right. that is meaningless. And so it doesn't... It's more about how far, how like far you can be able to jump to the good... It basically will right. make you more money per hour if you're able to jump further. It's Right, it's fewer jumps, basically. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I feel you. And so it's up to you if you want to just get the 12 million bucks. No, I think, you know, it's, yeah, I think I would want to upgrade because this sounds like a way I would want to, because eventually, obviously, yeah, I, I do want an anaconda or a python, and I don't think I want to do it in this craft because I would need half a billion to do that, you know? So I'd rather do it more efficiently if I'm going to be doing it at all. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not talking, like, you'll eventually get the decked out Diamondback Explorer. What I'm saying is, is that instead of getting two or four million dollars and coming back and buying the explorer but then not being able to deck out the explorer to really oh. get the the jump distance you may want to just wait until you have the 12 million dollars worth of now, discovery just do that data in one shot and then once you've got the 12 maybe 13 just to be on the safe side in case you lose a ship uh -huh. um once you've got the 13 million then uh find a plot a station and i can pull up a list Plot a okay. station, uh, go to that station, and then just buy your dream exploration machine. And mm -hmm. that the Diamondback Explorer will be your exploration machine until you decide to upgrade to a um, Asp Explorer. And then your Asp Explorer will be your exploration vessel. What's the What's the gain from uh, Diamondback to Asp in terms of uh, light years? Uh, the Water asp. The, I, I don't know if it's if it's so much a. Um, I don't know if it's so much a a jump in that. Um, it's a. The asp is just a better. It's a it's a better ship overall, and it's there's more that you can do with the asp that you can't really do with the Diamondback Explorer. Um, uh -huh. For instance, you can actually equip guns on the asp uh oh the, i see the asp explorer is the most versatile machine in the game period uh it's it's a wonderful machine and so the moment you can buy one i suggest getting one because you'll hold on to it for essentially the rest of the game uh until you'll hold on to your asp explorer for whatever reason until you get a anaconda and you can engineer it out mm -hmm. and once you can do an engineered anaconda you'll you'll finally sell your asp explorer um because you'll have an exploration vessel that's better than the asp yeah uh the asp will also allow you to do deep space runs in a way that the diamondback explorer isn't necessarily well equipped for because um, when you're doing uh, when you're doing deep space runs, you have to bring module repair units. You have to bring um, you've got to bring module repair. You need a huge fuel scoop if possible, uh, so that you can scoop up very fast as you're whipping around a planet. You just want to fill your fuel up and then start moving on again. Uh, no, as little downtime as possible. Okay. Uh, surface scan. <clears throat> yeah, I can only get the C. Which you already knew that, I guess, what was here. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's only one surface scanner. There's, there, okay. It's just the quarter million dollar surface scanner. Okay, cool. All right, so does that mean I'm good as far as my Viper is concerned right now? Um, yeah, you should be able to start. Um, okay. And really... Basically, you've got the route list. <clears throat> Get to it. Um, okay. If you want, uh, actually, go into go into outfitting real quick before you leave. Uh, sure. I'm gonna just turn on my. Oh, I might as well get rid of my kill warrant scanner. Uh, oh yeah. If you anything that you have that you don't need, you can go ahead and get rid of. Basic discovery and data link scanner. Those are the two things I want. Uh, did you on my. Uh, on my hard point, or on my... No, you're missing your detailed surface scanner, because that should... Oh, yeah, what the hell? 
Oh no 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 no! Hold on, I lied to you. Uh, okay, so the basic discovery scanner you have to manually use, but the um, the detailed surface scanner is going to automatically come up whenever you move close enough to a system. So, okay. or, or uh, to a, what's a data link on. scanner then? I have no idea. Okay. For the life of me, I've, I've never used it. It's yeah <laughs> probably a wiki page somewhere on it. Um, I've got no clue. Okay, so let me get rid of chaff launcher, store you, and my kill warrant scanner. <clears throat> okay, so detailed surface scanner basic discovery scanner fuel scoop uh can you buy generator. can you buy a um actually no what's the biggest fuel scoop you can buy uh try to change uh, out one of the cargo racks and see what the biggest thing is you can buy they got a 3e fuel scoop yeah how much they got a 3a and shit too but it's like way too much money the only one i can afford is this one for where's the price at Oh, this! Oh, I'm looking at my cargo. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, I have no money. That was all. I have no money to spend this. I guess. No, no, no. Um, no, no, no. It's saying that your module type limit is exceeded. Oh, um, oh, oh. Okay, oh, so oh, so I could put in a. I could buy a. What do I have? Oh, I have almost five grand. So I could get a three B. Uh, yeah. So go ahead and sell your one A, and grab a three B fuel scoop. Um. Yeah, you have to sell the, you have to sell the one e fuel scoop first. I have to sell it completely. Or well, I mean, you can store it, but. Yeah, I store I stored it, but okay, so that means I got to put it on a three slot, though, right? No, no, you can put it on a four. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. Uh. I would just change out one of your cargo. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay, so get the three B. Yeah, yeah. So that should allow you. And whenever you're fuel scooping, you need to be close enough to the sun. Yeah, I, I tried it once and I blew up. Yeah, and don't. <laughs> okay, so 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 here's a, here's a couple of things you got to know. You got to yeah. fly close. Whenever you start flying into the sun, you're gonna see a yellow ring appear. Yeah, I tur I had turned that off, so I turned them back on. <laughs> I tried it. Ag I tried it again, and it was it was going so slow. That I was like, well, this is dumb. I'd rather just and I and I didn't have a need for it because I was only bounty hunting. So yeah, I obviously need to give it some practice. Okay. But I did go ahead and turn on orbit lines okay. after that. So case. yeah, always have <laughs> always have orbit lines on. Um, it should give you that yellow ring. You're gonna want to put your ship. You're gonna want to put the sun above you in your screen, uh -huh. and then oh, you're gonna oh, and then you just pull back as you're moving forward. Right. right. And what you're to gonna go do it. is you're gonna make sure that the little um, the speed lines on either end of your on either side of your HUD, uh -huh. those need to converge below the below the yellow ring. So okay. outside. So you're you but you want to be riding it. You want to be like an inch down from it. Okay. And um, the speed at which you move around the sun doesn't matter once you start gaining fuel. So you can okay. power all the way down to 30, uh, 30, what is it, kilometers per second or whatever, mm -hmm. and you will still gain fuel at the, at the full rate. Okay. Um, so the other thing is you're going to want to watch your heat. Uh, you need to be able to be ready to basically pull away from the sun and burn uh, once you see your heat hit about 80%. Speaking of. And then once you get better ships with better engines, sitting next to a sun doesn't matter to anybody. Mm -hmm. And so, like, you can sit there all day long and it's not going to do anything to you. Uh, last thing about um, fuel scooping. It's not the color of the sun or the size of the sun that matters. It's there the type, are, right? There are seven types of suns you can scoop from. And it's the KGB. Vodka Bam. Yes. Yeah, F O G K B A M. Yeah, right. I do my research. I sit at work all day and do nothing but watch videos while I sort of work. Well, there, <laughs> there you go. Um, so essentially, what you're going to want to do is make sure that as you're as you're doing these jumps, if you ever do a, 
jump list out to one of these next planets, um, you're going to want to make sure that the line drawn is solid the entire way, or that there's some place you can refuel on the way there. Okay. Uh, quick question. Yeah. Isn't there, th so there's your throttle forward, there's your thrust forward, but isn't there a burst forward? There's option? boost. There's boost. Yeah, which, but I boost, cannot find that. Boost doesn't work in super cruise. Um, oh, okay. Boost okay, is. Okay, well, either way, yeah. where, where is it? I'd like to assign it to something. I can't seem to. I would think it would be under flight thrust. It's under flight misc. Flight misc. Yeah, flight miscellaneous. It's under flight thrust. Engine boost. Yeah. Okay, we'll put that guy right here. Oh, I have another button right here? What the fuck? Okay. Well, I got an extra... Ooh, I'm going to use you for fucking my, uh, my landing gear 100%. Now, <laughs> I've been using it, subbing on my keyboard for my landing gear, but I found an extra button on my HOTAS. Uh, Which one do you have? Landing gear. So I got the... Um, T Flight Hotas 4 by Thrustmaster. The okay. only reason I did, I got this instead of something that was a, probably a little bit nicer is because it works with my PlayStation 4 as well. So it like gives me more bang for my buck that I bought it for two of my systems. Yeah, there you go. So and it's and honestly, I have no pro I, like as much as I would love to have a really really nice one that has buttons all over the fucking place and I wouldn't have to touch my keyboard. Like, eh, I only spent sixty five dollars. You know, like I don't need to go and spend two hundred. <laughs> Okay, apply. All right, so we, we're good to go. We're uh, going to go to the first place. Yeah, so it's... Okay, so if you can walk me through just the first ones, because I don't even know what I... Do I so do I have to go to each of these planets, or it's like... Okay, so... Is that, is that the difference between these scanners? Like, I either have to be very close to them, or once I get the, the awesome one, I don't have to be close to it at all. No, no, uh, so you're always going to have to go up to the planet. Uh, in order to for the detailed surface okay. scanner to kick in, okay. Um, the okay. the DSS always requires you to be close, but the advanced discovery scanner is the one that will find. Once you're able to buy it, it'll find all of the stellar bodies within the system um, on the first pass, but it won't do the detailed stuff until you fly up close to the planet. Um, okay. So, I don't know which one of these uh, systems you want to do first. Uh, let's... So, how far can I jump in this one? 11 light years, you said? Is it's, it? yeah, like 10 or 11. Um, you're okay, at 10, and then, so where does it... So, where? Do, so I'm looking at this list. It doesn't tell me how far away these are exactly? So, it says, number one, jump 3686. I'm assuming 3686 is the distance from your current system. Yeah, but then look. The, oh, it's okay. So those are all distances between. Okay, I see what you're saying. Okay, so I need to go a ways away. I'm gonna have to make three jumps to begin with. Potentially. Now I don't know if this double doubles back. So, like, if I was you, I would do HIP seven nine one two seven first. I would throw it in and see what the distance is, um, from here to there. Okay. Okay. Let's do that. Oh my god, it's so far away! Holy shit! <laughs> Hell no, dude! <laughs> Hell no! No, 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 you, you typed it in wrong. It's uh, 79127, not 71927. Oh. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't give yourself a heart attack like that. 79127. Okay, woo! Yeah, that's right, go the fuck back. <laughs> I mean, it's still gonna okay. be... Still probably gonna be a ways away, but... Yeah, I'm going to have to... It's, it's not going to be a couple sectors out. Holy shit. Where does it tell you how many jumps it is? I mean, I it's, could... Um, it's, it's 156 like... light years, so it's going to be 15, 16 jumps. Um, now, uh, considering that it's it's that far away, it's up to you if you want to... Um, actually... Okay, I'll... so let's see how... I'm going to see how close the, the closest one is. All right. Sector O N. Oh, it's fucking doable. I don't even have to stop for fuel on this shit. Then do it. I mean, basically you start with the first one. But it's only 89. That's not even fucking worth it, really. It's a half a million bucks. The 89, 89 is the light seconds from arrival. 
Oh, you're, you're looking. Wait, 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 wait. Where's the money then? The money is on that other infographic I gave you about how much a in this one a terraformable water world is worth. Oh, oh, it's the fucking. Okay, so I got to look at both of these to look at what the well, not type is. Not so really. I'm looking for. You don't really need to look at the infographic because this is just going to tell you. Go to this system, go to this exact planet, scan it, move on. Um, oh, so these are all kind of worth it, no matter, like, the, regardless. The only ones that are on this list are the ones that are Are valued, those ones that are, Are okay, the big okay. value ones. So okay. you're going to ignore every other planet in the system. They are not worth your time. Um, okay. You are just going to fly over to Alrai. Uh, you are going to hit planet one 89 seconds in. Got it. Um, okay. You're going to scan gonna it. That out. And then if you want to be just absolutely sure, once you once you scan that, um, I think you have to jump. You have to jump so many light years away. It's like 30 light years away before you can turn in cartographic uh, information. You can't turn it in in the system right around where you found it. Okay. So um, once you're a little ways away, go to a station and cash it in just to see uh just to see what it's like okay uh why can't i jump oh your hard points are deployed they at least they were i'm on a delay uh, put them away oh wait no they're not they're not deployed well, they are now hold on hold on um you're getting a jump exceeds drive fuel use um, warning. Oh, oh, because I didn't do the right... Stupid. I know why. I didn't do the economic fucking route or whatever. You shouldn't have to do the economic route. You should... It should work on fastest. Okay. Hold on a second. Oh, no, I changed my target. That was my problem. I changed my target. Alright, try so... it. Try, try it again. Fuck. It's not working still. <laughs> Why is it not? Yeah, six jumps to all rise sector. Like, and then it clearly tells me that I. All rise sector KHV. Do you have yeah, anything so in your inventory? No, nothing. Pull up your galaxy map one more time. It should be automatically determining how far it, you know, how far you can go. This shouldn't yeah. be a question that is left up to, um, to you. All right, sector KHV. Okay, so I'm definitely. I got my route right here, and I got my target right here. That should be good. Try um. Try jumping to another system. It's like on the way. Yeah, close by. I think um. Or I'll just let me try just going straight here. Dude. It's giving me the hard point. You know what? Let me let me log out and log back in. Because there's clearly nothing wrong, and it's telling me there's something wrong. No, no, your hard points were deployed. Were they? Yeah, they they're. How come I couldn't see them though? It I says right there, one. primary one, secondary one. Your hard points are deployed. Fuck. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Okay. I just can't hard figure points. out why it's not letting you fucking jump. Okay, hard points are gone. Hard points retracting. <laughs> Let's get myself. Galaxy map. There we go. Okay, for whatever okay. reason. Good deal. All right, so um, uh, yeah, uh, KGB foam. 
you won't be able to jump into the the class or you won't be able to scoop with the, the class L. So just stay the hell away from it. Um, uh, okay, sorry, what, I was boosting. I couldn't hear you. What'd you no, say? no, I'm sorry. It's the the class list, the KG KGB foam. Oh, okay. The, yeah, it doesn't. However, you want to pronounce the KGB foam Ooh. thing comes from uh, the fuel rats. That's the one that they try to teach everybody. Um, which thankfully you've never had to use the fuel rats. Yeah. And hopefully, about them. hopefully, uh, this is a red to... fucking sun, dude. It's like super red. All right. Well then don't fly into it. <laughs> oh, and by the way, here's, here's a tip. You can basically slow all the way down as soon as you enter a system uh -huh. point towards your destination. Keep, stay slow, start up your uh, frame shift drive. And as soon as it's full, just punch your throttle forward. Because in Super Cruise, usually if you're, okay, so if you're coming out of a station and you're in normal flight, you can't jump until you're at basically full speed. Right. Um, but Because you're mass locked anyway to that point. Well, yeah, but once you're not mass locked and you're able to actually um, turn on your hyperdrive, um, or super cruise, you still have to have throttle pushed all the way forward in, before it'll jump. Right. But in in super cruise, changes in speed are ooh, beautiful. Changes in speed are instantaneous, and so if you um, uh, basically if you come into a system and immediately uh -oh. stop. It's hot. It's really oh, hot. Pull, pull away. Pull away from the sun. It's pull hot. up. Pull up. We're good. We're good. We're All good. Right. Ah! <laughs> I got to like 151 <laughs> percent. Okay. You have taken. You have now taken considerable damage to modules. To um, modules. How do yes. I know that? All right. So when you get to the next system, throttle all the way down. Check your right side HUD and go to modules and you should see the health percentages and they will be screwed. Oh, they're fucked up. They're so bad. All right, let me I'm waiting for it to pop up on mine. <laughs> uh you're 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 still in the 90s. You're you're fine. Oh, so this um, is Oh, I'm looking at the power. Stupid. Yeah, don't don't look at the power. I was like I was like damn. <laughs> <laughs> um okay, so uh, yeah, t today's not power management day. Uh, white <laughs> white dwarves are the hottest right that star, makes sense and so when you fly into them you have to pull up and away um, if yeah. you get too close to them you will burn and I'll actually um, at some point I'll teach you how to neutron hop which you uh -huh. can actually do out of a white dwarf if you really if you really 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 have your shit together you can neutron <laughs> seriously it's tough but you can neutron hop out of a white star uh, a white dwarf uh, what neutron hopping is, is there's, there's a couple of different types of... The neutron stars and the white dwarfs, if you notice, they have those uh, particle jets coming off the sides of them. Right. Um, what you do is you essentially fly into the particle jet outside of the gravity well of the star, and then you pull up so that you're pointed out away from the star. And if you stay within... The, the jet for long enough it boosts your frame shift drive and you can jump like four times further for the same amount of fuel what? so I made how do you ha but here's my question how does your computer target you towards something that it thinks you can't make it to you do a lot of manual targeting it's <laughs> it's there's there's a uh, uh, websites that help you on it but there's it's a good bit of manual targeting there's actually a neutron highway uh, uh, program where you basically tell it, I'm starting here, I want to go here, how far can I go and how many jumps? Uh -huh. So um, to put it in perspective, uh, there's, a, there's a colony about 22,000 light years away from the bubble. It's um, getting up close to, uh, oh shit. Yeah, you gotta stay away from the suns. I, I mean, I figured, fuck it. I'm you good. Can't, you, can't, you can't do that. Um, <laughs> so, so, uh, when, um, so Colonia is 22,000 22, light years away. 
and they have stations they have six stations i think that are just kind of spread out among um the path and it usually takes people quite a while to get from one place to the next Uh uh-huh when i was doing it in my asp explorer every time i moved between any two of the stations it would take me two to three hours for the jumps i just recently got my um my engineered anaconda and it's up to 62 light years per jump and so that means that i can clear almost 250 light years per neutron jump pull away from the sun that's what i'm doing i'm doing it (laughs) (laughs) you you don't get to have this is why you don't get to have my hut is literally smoking (laughs) this this is why we can't have nice things (laughs) i want to go get more fuel Wait, I don't need it. Okay, so um, we're here. We're we're here. We're All at right, the place. So open up your open up your system map. Okay. Does it show you any? There, there ain't shit. Except for an asteroid belt. Wait, are we here? Maybe I'm not here. Wait, hold on a second. O N T B three two. B three two. Yeah, no, we're here. Um, okay, so start flying out towards the asteroid belt. Okay. This is going to suck because we actually have to... Because you have a um, directional scanner... Uh, actually, hold on a second. Run run your directional scanner. Just run it all, mm. the, way, all the way through. Your D scanner. It should be uh, button two or whatever you Five have. Five new astronomical objects. Yeah, I already got it. Okay. So now whenever you open up your system map, it ah, okay. should... So we got a planet. We got a planet. Okay. So what you're looking for is uh, planet one. Oh, so that's probably this, right? It looks like there's only one planet. That would be planet one. Uh, if you notice, it kind of looks watery. It didn't look very watery to me. No, no, no. Zoom in on it. Like, it... Whenever you zoom in on okay, it, okay. I guess that's I guess that's water. It just looks well, tinted. If you, if you notice, it's a bluish color. It's not yeah, like yeah, yeah. a yeah, red, marsy color. Uh, there's also ice caps and clouds, which is a uh, it's a giveaway that the planet might be terraformable. Um, so fly towards it. And um, okay, so here's the other thing. Do you see on the bottom? Okay, at the very bottom left. Um, It says unexplored and then scanning, scanning. Uh Uh-huh. All right. So that means that you are within range for it to start scanning. Normally, it's going to just say unexplored. Oh, the blue. There's a little blue thing coming. Or I guess that's the orbit, right? Well, the... Oh, analyzing... Oh, it's doing it for me. Right, right, right. You don't have to to do anything on the detailed surface scanner. So we're done here, basically. And then once it says analyzing scan water world, you just made half a million bucks. Move the fuck on. How... Wait, wait, how do I see that though? Where does it? S- um, where once can you, I see once, what the data I've scanned? Once you get back to a station, you can open up the cartographic thing, and it'll uh-huh. say, "This is how many systems, and this is what the systems are worth." Okay. Okay. Um, so okay. now the one thing you need to know is, if you go back and look at your route map, it says the number of light seconds away. Uh-huh. If you notice the fourth one, um, Scorpii Sector DL-Y, you're not actually going to be able to do that one because your scanner doesn't go far enough out. What? Because your scanner only scans out to, um, I think, 500 light seconds. So you need to find planets in here until you can go go find a advanced discovery scanner you need to find planets in here that are less than 500 light seconds out. Uh, where do you, how do you see that it's more than 500 light seconds out? Do you see the route listing? Yeah, I'm looking at it. It says planets, and it says one, and then it says the number of light seconds. Oh, four. Oh, four. It's a, oh, okay, so you're saying which? So for, for the route thing that you're looking at, it's like jump one, 36.86 light years away. Uh-huh. All right sector. Planet uh-huh. 1, 89 light seconds. It's in the first... It's, oh, light second. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know where I was looking. 
Yeah, that's like it's, okay. So I can't go anything higher than how many? You can't uh, do anything higher than five hundred. Five? So you can oh, do shit, the. So I can't even get like half of those ones in number six, huh? Well, hold on. You can do the first three of these, and then you can scoot down to call two eighty five. Do uh -huh. that one, and then take them all to a place where you can buy an advanced discovery scanner, or uh, advanced discovery. Yeah, an ADS, an advanced discovery scanner. Get those four planets. You should have more than enough for an ADS. Okay. 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 Uh, actually, as a matter of fact, you should be able to do it on three of those. Um, after after three of them. Yeah, after three of them, you should have. You should have plenty of money. Uh, you might have to sell like a couple of things, at a station, but then you you'll be able to buy the ADS. And then with the ADS, you will be able to come in, find everything, and then just fly out to whatever the hell it is that you're looking for. So how am I going to go about finding where to buy an ADS uh, in the middle of a bunch of shit I've never been to? So Do for I just that, look for... Nope, for that we use EDDB. Oh, okay. Um, EDDB.io has a station button on it. And if you click, uh, it's got stations at the top. If you click on stations, it will actually say the first two options are station sells modules, and then you just type in the module you're looking for. And then at the bottom left, it has a reference system. You type in the system that you're in. And when you search, you can organize by what is closest to you. Okay. EDB. Okay. Okay, cool. Um. And then Hydra Sector UJR. So let's say that you want to buy this after your third jump. Uh huh. Um, there's actually <laughs> there's an advanced discovery scanner four light years away from uh, from there. So oh wow. Yeah, it's like you can find them close, but keep in mind you're gonna have to jump enough light years out so that you can turn in the. Um, uh, you can turn in the cartographic information. So you may want to pick one of these that's like 30 light years out and then go to that one instead and pick mm. up your... Uh, or actually, oh, you know what you know what you can do? Hold on. I just realized something. You can start to burn to your fourth one and just sell it close by. Yeah, so um, essentially this will be your life right up until you get tired of it. Um, <laughs> and and absolutely dead serious. This I'm is, pretty motivated. I this, mean, I, uh... this is the easiest way to make enough money to play the game how you want to play it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's a lot of people that will that will impress on you that playing all of the different ships is a good idea. Like, doing a regular progression is a good thing. Uh -huh. um, I do agree with that to a point. Like, if I was brand new in starting the game and somebody dumped a billion credits on my lap for nothing, no worry. Yeah. Say I wanted to do trading, I would still buy, like, a type... I would still buy a hauler and deck it out and learn how to fly the hauler and then move up to the Type 7 and get really good at flying that and then move up to the Type 9 even though I could buy the Type 9 right off the bat. Um, the Type 9 is like the... It's the biggest transport ship until you get into some of the specialty ships mm -hmm. or until you figure it out that you can um, retrofit an Anaconda to be a... Uh, uh, a trading vessel. And so... Um, the, the problem with the, the biggest thing about moving up in ships is that they get harder to control. Really? And so, yeah. Uh, because they're bigger, right? Well, the, they're huge. And when you look at like a Type 9 or a Beluga or an Imperial Cutter, they barely fit out of that mail slot. And so yeah. when you're coming out of a station or flying into a station, that's tough sometimes to get that massive damn ship in and out of that mail slot. To top it off, 
as you start to find some of the ways to make like good money sometimes you have to take that mail slot at 200 250 meters a second <laughs> in a ship that can't fit through the mail slot sometimes without a shield because you're running silent and you, your shields are off yeah and so if you bump the station you're buying a new ship and <laughs> absolute dead serious and and the rebuy on some of these ships is 10 million credits 15 million credits um, you have to be you have to know how to fly these things and so um, even though you'll have access to this I still do definitely suggest that you um, learn how to pilot in order um, do some smaller ships some some smaller more agile ships learn to pilot those then slow. well what about going from from so I had my sidewander now I have my viper then I'm gonna get a, a diamond back and then a what are you talking about the other ships that are medium sized like a beluga like a cutter like well those those are large are those, those are, are those so are it doesn't huge. get much larger than that no no it doesn't the beluga the beluga the cutter and the type 9 are the most massive ships in the game. Uh, and oh, the, okay. The federal, the federal Corvette, is massive as well. And so, I mean, you're you're some of these ships are pushing, um, capital class ship size. They're mm -hmm. they're just massive. <laughs> and so, you have to be you have to be as careful as you can with them, and it takes some getting used to. The cutter will drift. You will come into a station and you can make the damn thing drift like you're watching, you know, too fast, too furious. It, <laughs> the shit that you can do with a cutter will just twist your head. And the problem is you think you're lined up for the mail slot. You are not lined up for the mail slot because you're <laughs> going to drift under the mail slot. And now everything that you've done on your approach is wrong. And if you have to pull away to do another approach, somebody's going to scan you. And if somebody scans you, they're going to find the illegal cargo you have, and you're going to get a fine, and that's going to kill your profits for the run. And so there's considerations, I guess, that, that have to be made. Um, you know, you, you do want to learn them kind of in order, get good with small ships, be able to fly them well, and then move into a medium ship. Yeah. And then do the same with large ships, um, because ideally you would be doing, you would be doing that progression normally. Uh, you just happen to have a, um, a pretty awesome shortcut. As soon as you're able to afford the Diamondback Explorer, you are going to be raking in money hand over fist. Because <laughs> right now it's a bunch of jumps that you wouldn't have to do if you had the Diamondback Explorer. How many jumps out are you? Uh, I think I got three more. Okay. Three more. Yeah, the Asp Explorer has a level six um, internal optional bay. And so you can put like a 6B or a 6A scoop on it. And it fills up the fuel tank in 25 seconds. See, now, can I... I can't avoid heating up. Like, it, the closer you get... Even the closer you get, the hotter it's going to be. And so... Okay, I think I found a good sweet spot here. Yeah, okay, we're good. He said speed does not matter. Speed doesn't matter if you slow down all the way. But as long as you're pulling away from the sun, it's going to start taking in less. So, if you're pointed away from the sun and you're moving at minimum speed, the number is going to tick down slowly, or quickly, depending on your, you know, depending on things. Yeah. But you don't need more fuel than that. I mean, you got plenty of fuel. I figure I might as well just keep going, because I'm all going to do is keep jumping, 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 jumping. <laughs> there we go. Going up. Yeah. I think you'll like the Diamondback Explorer, though. It's it's one of the most agile ships in the game. Um, 
Or at least it was for me whenever I had it. Right, it's not good. the same as it's not the same as an eagle or a scout ship or anything, but it's nice. Uh -huh. <clears throat> you can get a thing called an AFMU, which is a automatic what the hell is it? Field, auto field maintenance unit. And um, what it is is it's a module repair kit. Okay. And you basically can come out of you come out of Super Cruise and you can repair everything except for your cockpit. Can't repair your cockpit, you can't repair the power plant. Um, and if you try to repair life support, it will turn off life support while it's repaired and mm -hmm. you'll be on emergency oxygen for just a little bit. Yeah. Um, and you'll have to remember to turn uh, emergency oxygen back on. Or uh, turn life support back on once it's done repairing. Don't ever, ever, ever repair your thrusters or your frame shift drive while you are in super cruise. Because how would you even do that? It, it would allow you to attempt to do that. So it'll allow you to attempt, but the moment it turns off your thrusters or your frame shift drive, you drop out of frame. Uh, you drop out of super cruise. And because you dropped out of Super Cruise at, at speed, uh, you take damage to your hull and all the modules that you were trying to repair. Yeah. <laughs> Which is a little a little counterproductive, maybe, somewhat. Oops. Okay, we're almost here. I'm gonna grab something to drink downstairs after I scan this system here real quick. Go for it. <clears throat> I mean, it's... This is really second verse, same as the first. Um, you know, do your do your scanner, fly out to planet three, wait for it to scan. The moment it scans, start jumping out. Welcome to exploring. So it's number three. Okay, wait. I'm. Re I think I'm reading this wrong again. So if I so I just scanned the ga the system. Now if I'm looking at my map, it's in slot three. Is that okay? Yeah, because this looks like it is. No, you're not going to use. Don't ever use the navigation panel. Always use. Yeah. So it's going to be the one in slot three. It's going to be the one yeah. that's blue, that's, not brown. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I was, so it's the first, under the planet's column, it's the fir that first number. Right. One, three. What does A9 or C4 mean, though? Like, it's the... Okay, oh, so they're like moons around? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, so, so. And so letters are distant, like, A is closest to that body, and then C is third closest to that body. Is that how that works? I assume. Yeah, basically. So C4 is going to be um, third planet. It's probably going to be a gas giant. And it's going to be the fourth moon off of that planet. Um, if you look at number 10, it says A4A. That uh -huh. means it's going to be the first planet down to the fourth um the fourth moon of that planet, and then the first moon of that moon. Oh, there's moons of moons? Yeah. Damn, I didn't even... I didn't mean, I I guess I knew in, in real life there were, but I didn't think about it in this game. <laughs> oh, fuck. Blowing right past this bitch. <laughs> I wasn't paying 
attention. All right, water world. All right, I'll be right back.
Okay, you still there? Yeah, welcome back. All right. So the plan was we're doing four of these, <clears throat> and then going to get the advanced scanner, right? Um, I believe so. Because <clears throat> that'll net me. Uh, how much are they? You said they're like a mil and a half or something. Yeah. So we'll get four. Let me look it up. Terraformable water world is 700,000. Oh, well, we got three in a row, so, I mean... What you can probably do is um, go to Hydra Sector, uh, uh -huh. UJR next. Yeah, that's where I'm going. I would go there next, grab that planet, get out to Scorpii mm -hmm. Sector, and then there's a... Um, there's a place that you can buy the uh, um, advanced discovery scanner really close. You may have to click on Hydra Sector again to get it to pick up. Oh, that's not the correct system. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I typed it in again. Uh, you shouldn't have to type it in. <laughs> if you look at the... Um, if you look at the system name on that route sheet, the little uh -huh. ghostly icon next to it, to the left, is a copy uh -huh. to clipboard option. No fucking way. They thought yeah. of everything. Yeah. As a matter of fact, <laughs> uh, if you click on visited, it changes from no to yes. Um, uh, oh. It's, oh. <laughs> yeah. Nice. These are okay. actually these are actually designed for um, like quick. If you ever use the Neutron Highway, it's the same way. It's, uh... So, uh, here's a question. Who the fuck figured out that you could, like, light your skip through a fucking Neutron Star? Like... Well, you, you fly into did, one and it starts giving you uh, different warnings and stuff. It's uh -huh. not... It's actually not that hard to figure out that something's going to happen. Uh -huh. and you stay inside of it and it says frame shift drive supercharged. Uh, and then whenever you jump into your, um, whenever you jump into your galaxy map, uh -huh. it actually tries to route you based on the fact that your frame shift drive is super hard. So hmm. you put in the next system on the neutron highway into it, and it yeah. might be 180 light years okay, away. Okay, so it's kind of obvious. <laughs> yeah, it's it's set up to to allow you to do it. And then somebody just wrote the code to find all of the you know, neutron stars that we've found currently in the game uh -huh. and route a path through them. Because all of these um, all of these little tools are, they only allow for uh, systems that players have stumbled upon. Right, obviously, yeah, because there's still and apparently we've only discovered like 0.01% of the right. fucking stars in this game. Right. Now, have people made it all the way out to the edge edges of the galaxy and then, like, into the center and, like, oh, yeah. all that kind of shit? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of uh, Obsidian Ant, his videos. I don't know if they follow... I'm not familiar. If you, yeah, I've been following a lot of, like, th there's only a handful of people that are moderately famous YouTubers for Elite Dangerous, specifically. But, uh, Obsidian, Obsidian Ant is a good one. Oh. Very knowledgeable. I started, so I started a thought earlier, and I, I wouldn't, I didn't finish it. Um, so, before, when I had my Asp Explorer, the jump out to Colonia... Basically, I had to do it in like three to four hour segments, mm -hmm. and it was between every two stations. Um, and so it would take three hours to get to the next station, three hours to get to the next station. And it took okay. me about 20 hours, yeah, 15 to 20 hours of flight time to get to Colonia. And where's Colonia exactly? Like Colonia is about three quarters, it's 22,000 light years away. Jesus. So if you were jumping with your current ship, uh, you could make it there in 2,000 jumps. Um, oh but for me, it was closer to 700. 
um, with my ship and the neutron stars and, and everything. Um, after I got my uh, anaconda lined up, and I did the same jump set on Monday, mm -hmm. I did it Monday night between 8.30 and 11.15. Oh, wow. It took me 120 jumps to get from here, basically, to Colonia. Now, Col Colonia is the only outpost that we know of, correct, that is outside of, like, the sphere? No, no, no. So, okay, so we actually, there's a bunch of asteroids outside of the, outside of the bubble. There's a bunch bubble. of asteroids. Yeah. There is Colonia and, like, the 30 stations around Colonia, plus there's the six, ju the st six stations between us and Colonia. And there's a place called Beagle Point, which is on the opposite side of Sagittarius A star, uh -huh. which is our supermassive black hole in the Milky mm -hmm. Way. It's on the other side of that. It's on the far edge of, of space. And so it's I think it's the furthest place from the bubble. And there's an outpost there and you can fly to it and dock your ship. Uh um, and you actually, they have uh, rare goods there that you can buy a few of them and then fly them all the way back home. <laughs> so are you saying that other than these places you're mentioning, there are no other, other like stations, places to dock at anywhere in the deep space? Not really. Wow. So I'm in the middle of like no man's land right now. Well, on the fringe of it. At no, least. no, 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 sir. You are nowhere the... close to No Man's Land. <laughs> you are you are nowhere close. I'm trying to get a I'm trying to get a feel for the scope of this game and I don't think I've got I've quite grasped it yet. No no no, no. Uh, that 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 basically is everything that you need to know about the scope of this game. You yeah. are nowhere close. Um, <laughs> as a matter of fact, you know what? Just for shits and giggles. <laughs> Oh damn it, did I turn off my oh, I did. Okay, cool. Hold on, I wanna I wanna see if something is uh Alright, what system what system are you currently in? I am in C D dash twenty seven space ten thousand two hundred. Wait, what? Just look on the you can look okay. on the stream. <laughs> you are two jumps from me. From you? Yeah, I'm in Shinrar Shinrarda, which is the founder's planet, which is in the middle of the bubble. I, You are two jumps from me. You are I'm like, nowhere. <laughs> I'm dead center in the middle of civilization. You're, yeah, you're basically <laughs> in the middle. How long does it take to even leave the bubble, then? Um, It's several hundred light years before you get out of the bubble. So wait, am I if I follow this list down, you know, a hundred, two hundred times, am, am I is it all within the bubble or is it eventually go outside of it? Actually, you know what? Hold on a second. Cause I'm looking at power play, which is kind of a good way to envision the bubble. And Shinrard is actually kind of on the edge. A little bit on the edge. You're pushing the edge of the bubble, maybe. I thought I was nowhere close a second ago. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. I'm looking for um, I'm looking for governments. You are you're an entire sector away. So all right, so you are seventy something light years from me. You're about a hundred light years away from the edge of the bubble. Right, right about. Okay, like ten jumps. <clears throat> yeah, you're not. Um, you're definitely not in deep space. You are surrounded by planets that that are surrounded by stations that you could dock out if you absolutely needed to. The difference is, is once you get out into deep space, it really does feel like every time you jump you could do something stupid and into the run right there. <laughs> um, I'm being absolutely serious. 
and and it it's it's a little nerve wracking because you start dealing with stuff that you're not used to dealing with. Uh, you. Like for instance, when you're when you're jumping around right now, what is your biggest worry? Maybe running out um, of fuel. No, that's not my. I don't. My my. I here's my worry that your your internet's gonna go out, and I'm gonna be <laughs> stuck out here, and I'm not gonna know how to turn this shit in or get back home. <laughs> that's that's what I'm worried. About. Oh. It's like a real life worry. It's nothing to do with the game. <laughs> How many more jumps do we have? Uh, three more after this. All right. And then once once we get you to a uh, once we get you to a halfway decent station, um, I'm gonna log out. Okay. But I do want to make sure that you're you know you're feeling. I need an, uh, yeah, I need to know the loop. I I need to complete the loop. So after we get this one, I'll go get that scanner, and then I'll I'll feel comfortable. I think with at least what I'm gonna do for the rest of tonight. Right. Because then after that, the goal is just to get enough money to buy the, uh... Was it Diamondback? Yes. Because there's so much stuff, I, like, I, w I want to try mining, and I want to try doing, like, black market stuff, and, like, you know, there's nothing preventing me from doing that necessarily, but I also want to do it in a nice ship. <sighs> So have you been have you been playing it since uh, its release? When did it come out? Like 2014? I haven't been playing since its release, but I've been playing since before before Horizons. Okay. Um, and so I was I was here well before you know landing on planets was a thing. Right. Um, I just recently joined uh, the Fuel Rats, which I highly suggest. Oh no shit. Um, I, I think I joined a couple weeks ago. And, Do you uh, have to set up like hours where you're available and sectors that you're going to no, be no, in? No, no, no. You like just that? show up and um, somebody, you know, somebody calls for fuel and then you call jumps to that location. Um, it is, it is one of the only thing that I can compare it to is these people who play like Microsoft Flight Simulator, but uh -huh. do the whole like full realism air traffic control thing. Mm -hmm. If you ever just go to fuelrats.com and log into their IRC channel, don't uh -huh. say anything, just listen. Uh -huh. It is it's basically like an air traffic controller. They have one wow. person, they have one person who's not <laughs> who's not playing the game. All they're doing is relaying information from the client who needs fuel to the rats who are on their way out. And that person does everything with the client to get them set up. Add uh -huh. these people to your friends list. Add these people to your wing. Set up your beacon. Turn off all of your modules. Get ready for whatever. And you have to worry about if somebody's already on emergency life support, you have to handle that differently because you have to have them log out and everybody swarms the system and then that uh... person logs in and then everybody makes a mad dash to them before they run out of fuel. Wow, so they like organized some shit like crazy. Oh no, no, it is it is exceptionally organized. <laughs> and so, uh, one of these days, you know, just for the just for sheer, like just for pure shits and giggles, run out of fuel, <laughs> and then call the fuel rats and tell them you need help. Just to go through the experience of getting help, and yeah. it'll blow you away. <laughs> I mean, we we normally get people fuel in less than fifteen minutes, less than right. ten minutes. How um, many how many people are in fuel rats? Uh, there's a lot of fuel rats. Um, there are people who are more regular than I am, um, but it it really is it's a your time thing. You have to get drilled, so they they make you go through a training and they go make you go through a mock um, save before they'll start putting you on actual missions. Uh -huh. But you call when you're ready. You don't have oh, they to test you. That's really cool. <laughs> um, you don't have to be on all the time. There's no schedule. You just you log into the game, and you decide that uh, you want to help people out because you don't feel like trading, but you want to go fly and you want to do something uh -huh. interesting. 
you log in, you wait for somebody on your platform to call for help, and then you tell the dispatch how many jumps out you are, and you may get picked, and you may not get picked. Um, and so uh, that's that. Don't ever go by your navigation panel. Always go by the system map. Always. Oh. oh because really? yeah, because those There's a chance for error. Kind well, of thing. okay, so on on the navigation panel, those are distances to you, but the system map shows distances, it's absolute distances to the star. And that's what determines the the yeah, order. Maybe I select the wrong one. Wait. So you're looking so, for A9? Yeah. So A, so the okay, letters so are A, the star? A is the star. Okay. So now you're looking for the ninth planet. Two, three, four, five, six. No, seven, no, no, ninth eight. planet. Oh, so start from the first one. Yeah, Two, so it's. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's the last planet. It looks like a pretty shitty planet, bro. <laughs> I mean, I guess it makes the most sense out of all of them, but it's like it's like a slate gunmetal gray. Um, no, that's that's a water world. Oh shit! Okay. Well, thank God you said something because I was literally going to the wrong place. That's yeah. That's why you use the. Uh, and notice you don't count the belts; you only count planets. Um, oh, okay. So here's the other thing I want to tell you. Do you see uh -huh. at the bottom left hand side of your screen? Do you see the blue orb? Yes. Okay. You can immediately tell it's a water world because it is literally a world of water. Oh, oh, um, oh the way it looks right there. Right. Yeah, but that kind of looks like it could be clouds. I don't know. Oh, fuck. I got too close. I'm don't, too close. Let's don't, get... <laughs> don't, don't do that. If you die, you lose your, your exploration data. This is not a good thing. Uh, you, I was, I was, you know, the phenomenon where you look at something and you automatically drive towards it. That's what was happening right there. <laughs> I just like to point out that baby exploration's not, not your, not your. No, show. it's not. No, in, in fact, I don't even find this that fun. I'm just, I'm just doing it for the fucking money. I understand. Hey, I I'm, I'm, the, I'm playing this. I'm literally playing this game how I live really. my life. I'm like, oh, I have to work so I can get money. Okay. Like, I guess your, I'll do uh, that. your voice chat is like really broken. Uh, I don't know why. You're skipping in and out. Yeah, you were too, actually. Maybe okay. It's the server. No, no, there you go. You're, you're sounding good. You're good. Yeah. Okay. So I posted another link in um, Twitch, and uh, this link is kind of like the last link that I sent you with all the planets, except all it's doing is showing you. Why are your hard points deployed? Are they? Do you see? Oh, 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 oh yeah, yeah, I got it, 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 I got it. Because I don't, because I forget, because I'm so, because here's, up until now. Uh, you never had to have them out? I, no, whenever I had my hard points out, they were a weapon or a mining um, right. utility, right? So I would see them. So that's how I Turn, turn off your, turn off your frame ship drive while you're here. <laughs> We're good. We're good. So, I <laughs> wow, so you're not you're not allowed to fly any of my ships. I just I want to point out that you're not allowed to fly any of the things that I own. It's just, oh god. Um, boost away from the sun to cool off. Yeah, we're we're getting there. We're good. We're good. Because every good. second every second you're taking more module damage, and so look at that. We're still in the high 80s. Whatever. This is better than I did in high school. If uh, if your modules get down below 70, they will start to randomly fail, and they will fail at the most inopportune times. Um, and so you want to make sure... Like, I wouldn't do that again. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, I didn't so... mean to, to be honest. I just <laughs> dealt with it poorly. <laughs> um, anyway, I, I dropped a link into... Uh, into Twitch, and it it's basically like the last diagram that showed like the types of worlds, but this time it shows only what that bottom left thing is going to look like. And if you decide to do exploration for any length of time, any any large length of time, um, you're gonna want to memorize what these look like. Okay. Uh, oh, I see. Okay, got it. Got it. The one in particular that you need to know 
is the black hole one because most black holes the the further away the black hole is from the center of the galaxy generally the smaller the black hole is going to be right anything that is around the bubble it will be so small that you can't see it <laughs> and it will eat you okay um and so you have to be sometimes when you come into the system it automatically like one of the first things that you want to do is just hit the auto select button to select mm. the first thing in front of you and make sure it's not a black hole uh, oh, wow. or always read whenever you jump from one place to the next always read at the top right it'll say the next jump is a neutron star or a k-class star or a black hole yeah and if it says black hole or neutron or white dwarf while you're in the middle of hyper hyper jumping you want to pull all the way back on your throttle so that when you come out you immediately stop um, because otherwise you will cruise right into whatever the hell it is that you don't mean to hit um, black holes are beautiful they're gorgeous but they'll eat a ship okay so walk me through so now I've got enough money, right, to be able oh, to go yeah, get my yeah, advanced okay, scanner. Okay. So walk me through what I would need to do if you weren't here okay. uh, so, to find the nearest place to stop. Got it. So go to eddb.io. Okay, I'm there. Yeah. Okay. I knew that at much. The at the top, <laughs> it says uh, Ross Systems and Stations. Click on Stations. Okay. Um, the first thing that it has is an entry at the top right says Station Cells Modules. Okay, uh, Just, advanced, advanced discovery scanner, 1C. Right. And then at the bottom left, it says Scorpii, uh, at the bottom left, it says reference system. Uh-huh. And you're going to type in the location of your next jump. Your next, the next jump. Well, the you're going to put in y the next system because we have to get X number of light years away from this system to turn in this water world. So. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, okay, that makes sense to me. Okay, so we're, gonna we're going to So you're going to put in Scorpii sector. sector. Um, you may want to turn planetary off, like includes planetary no. Why just so that? It's, just so it's not trying to land you on a planet. Oh, okay. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, because I don't have horizons anyway. Okay. Uh, and then that's it. Search, find a station. Yep. Okay. Uh, Jupe Duwona. Exactly. This is where the fuck I'm going, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so what I would do is this. I would plug that into your system, uh, Jupa Duana. Plug that into your galaxy map, find out how far away it is. Because we actually Oops. do need one that is a certain distance away. Okay. What's the uh, threshold of how far I have to be away? I'm googling it now. All right, there we go. How 30, um, 3425 should be fine. I think okay. it's it's either 20 or 30, I don't know which one, but 34 whatever should Oh, be I 30. see I see this I see Scorpio sector. Okay, so we'll be really close to the next place. Right. That's that's the point. We want to be within one jump of the next place. Okay, cool. Uh All right, let's go. Oh, uh, it's twenty light years. You have to you have to go twenty light years before you can sell. So, okay. um, basically, what you're going to do is you're going to go to Collins Terminal in Jupiduana, and you are going to sell exploration data. And it should be what three or four jumps out. Uh, yeah, it's like I think it's like four. Perfect. Okay, and then uh, the next goal you said thirteen million to be able to get my diamond back fully geared. Basically, yeah. What's funny is I even remember listening to the best practice for how long you should wait to charge your frame shift before you come or right when you come out of a jump. 
is mm-hmm. you wait until the sun hits the edge of your radar and begins to shrink. Yes. That's, yeah. that's a good... Actually, a See, better... I know all this stuff. I just don't do it. Actually, a better, <laughs> a better way to do it is um, if you're at full throttle coming out of a planetary... Uh, coming out of a sun, uh-huh. the highest... Um, the highest speed you can go is 0.33 C. The moment that ticks up to 0.34 or 35, punch it. Because you're now flying away from the sun faster and your speed will, or your heat will start to drop off at the same time that the heat will rise from uh, the frame shift drive. Okay. And so, um, like you've got plenty of fuel, you don't need to refuel. I would just punch it and get to the side. Oh, it's just a, just a habit of mine. <laughs> it's a good habit to have. <laughs> I do the same thing with my car. I usually get gas when I hit about three quarters of a tank. <laughs> show you the last um, awesome piece of information you're ever going to need to know about this game and uh, let you go from there. Uh, but I'll do that once you get back to the station. Uh, once you get to the station and sell and then buy your ADS, um, I'll show you how to do this one last thing and then I'm going to head out and I'm going to leave you to Making your millions while I'm gone. All right, cool. I mean millions. When I see millions. you tomorrow, when I see you tomorrow, I want you to be like, I'm a millionaire. I got, I got, <laughs> I got some shit. Man. My well, my goal is, uh, hope, well, I want to get halfway there tonight at least. I just here's my problem though. So I would need to basically look up on the route and kind of manually add with a calculator how many planets i'm gonna hit in order to get like to six because it doesn't there's no way to see my tally right of my data well as you're flying you can always just stop by just stop at a station on your way repair sell your cartographic data and then see where you're at um you don't get any more money by holding on to the data so stop off and sell it uh get rid of it and then um what will end up happening is uh, uh, if you die, you lose all the cartographic data. Right, 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 right. We and don't want to do that. And you definitely don't want to do that. And so if you're not, they have some, they have some stuff where, like, I think it's faster if you travel out to what's, what are called the neutron fields, uh-huh. where you basically have neutron stars within regular jump distance of one another. You don't actually have to do the neutron jump. Uh-huh. But it's not that there's 10. It's not that there's 100. There's 10,000 of them. And they oh. cross hundreds of light, thousands of light years worth of sectors. And you can literally just plot. You can go into the galaxy map and plot a course a thousand light years away mm-hmm. and tell the system to only jump between neutron stars and it will plot you a path. Every neutron star you jump into, if you honk it and do the discovery scanner, it's 50 grand. And so you don't even need to like look at the rest of the system. Jump in, honk it, scan, move on. Jump it, honk it, scan, move on. And they have people who just do that because uh-huh. in the time it takes to go find a planet you know, that has a water world on it, maybe the path to riches is faster because you know exactly what planets to go to. But... That used that was the way that I got to Elite Explorer was, you know, you go out to the neutron fields and you make literally two hundred million dollars just flying between uh, systems, and it'll actually so uh, cartographic data is sold fifty fifty uh, systems at a time, okay, and it would literally say this page of fifty is worth twelve million dollars. <laughs> click mm-hmm. sell this page of 50 is worth eight million dollars click sell and you just sit there and click sell click sell click sell what? and your and your money just I overshoot this 
Because you didn't speed down when you reached seven seconds. You always I speed thought if down. I'm in the blue, I'm good. I wasn't even trying to do that, though. I wasn't trying to, like, get there as fast as possible. I was just trying to aim towards it, you know? Oh. I Yeah, that's right. We're not scanning. I'm so used to, I thought we were scanning this. Okay, we're good. <laughs> um, don't ever go by the distance to the thing that you're, sh that you're flying towards. Don't ever go by the speed that you're at or whether or not your little cursor is blue. Always go by how many seconds it takes to get there. But the seconds fluctuates like crazy. Right, it does, but that's the reason, like, you you follow the seconds. If you're at seven seconds, you're perfect. If you're at eight seconds, speed up a little bit. If you're at six seconds, slow down a little bit. Seven seconds will make sure that you never have... Oh, fuck the... me! Did you fly damn it. it again? No, I got stuck in a fucking... Ah! Oh. Power down. Jesus. Just... Submit, turn towards, go. You're not carrying anything. He's not going to shoot you. Was it a person? No, it's an uh, NPC. What was his fucking problem? Oh, god damn it. Now I'm like all super still... F Ugh, I'm all fucked up, dude. <laughs> um, yeah, always submit to interdiction um, if it's an NPC. And the way you know it's an NPC is an NPC will always talk to you in your chat. Right. Uh, when they interdict you. Oh, you don't have anything. Well, it's just a scrub. They'll do it when they interdict you. They'll they'll say something uh, snippy to you when they interdict you, and that's how you know it's an NPC. If you just get interdicted out of the blue, um, I don't know, shit yourself because it's a player, and Lord knows what they're gonna do when they get to you. I've been playing on solo this whole time. <laughs> I haven't even been playing with other people. Once you get a little bit of once doing. you get a little bit of money, don't worry about playing on open. Um, okay. Because if if nothing else, I can like jump on at that point and come fly out with you, um, and you know we can wing up and just go cruise around. Sweet. Or I can grab my python and we can go blow shit up. Yeah. That's what I'm about. I really like the the combat in this game and just watching videos of people with like a super decked out anaconda with like fucking well, how many hard points does it have? Like sixteen. You it's don't not, even have to do anything. It automatically shoots people. Like <clears throat> and kills them. <laughs> it's not it's not that many hard points. It's a lot of hard points. Yeah. <laughs> um oh. So the one thing the one other thing that I would suggest you buy for your ship. Uh -huh. Um and some people are gonna scoff at, at this. The docking fucking thing? Buy the fucking docking computer. Yeah, some people are like, oh, you're breaking the meta. Um, <laughs> like, we don't reason, want fucking people that can't dock. <laughs> right. So the reason why you buy the docking scanner is purely because you don't want to... Like, this station has a giant fucking antenna on it. And that antenna doesn't show up on your depiction of the station. So if you whip your... your ship around, you can fly right into that antenna, and then that's it. You're dead. Um, the what? docking... Oh, landing gear. The docking computer allows you to get away with, uh... I'm not gonna say murder, but it basically, after a long trip, one of the last things you want to do is, is dock. Is dock <laughs> and you don't want to, like, you know, I'm tired, I accidentally run into something, uh, it sucks... Oh my god, get out of here. Alright, so... Universal Cartographics. On the left. Yeah, I'm... I'm getting my bearings here. Okay, Universal Cartographics. Oh, what the fuck? Two million! Woo! You shitting me? There we go. That's fucking cool. And you didn't even... Like, how much did you really do? I didn't do any... I mean, I fucked up a couple... Flew into a couple stars... Uh, <laughs> overshot like three fucking marks, but I mean, other than that, like, we're right. How long did that take us? Like, let's see, when did you come into the channel? Well, all of the time that it's taken is it's because of your ship being fucking slow, not because you know there's a serious problem here. 
Um, it's just because of all the damn jumps that you've had to make. It took like an hour. It took like a little less than an hour, maybe. All right. So uh, that having been done, um, you can pick up the ADS, and then uh, yeah. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna teach you one last thing. Mm -hmm. So. So you have. Um, I just posted a link to um, ED, uh, Coriolis at EDCD. This is a build that I would suggest for you to uh, use. Okay, and this is this is the Diamondback. All right. This is the Diamondback, and uh, if you notice, it's got certain things turned off, um, like the auto field maintenance units are turned off because you don't yeah. turn you don't turn them on until you use until them. you need them. Okay. Uh, and the reason why is it allows you to get away with a smaller power plant. Um, <laughs> Did you get the heat sink launchers just because I'm an idiot? No, no, no. You always or do put I a, need those? <laughs> no, you always you always put a couple of heat sink launchers just to cover your ass. Oh, okay. I thought, I, I thought you were like, no. yeah, he probably needs these. <laughs> no, no. Had I put four on there, that would be saying something. Anyway. Okay. okay. So, uh, all right. So, here's, here's the thing I want to teach you, uh, and then I'm going to head out. So right. click settings at the top right. And then under settings, it'll say ship discount, module discount. And uh -huh. I want you to add a 15% discount to both of them. And after you do that, you'll <laughs> notice that the ship drops from 12 million to like 10, 250. Yeah. But in addition to that, your insurance drops. Okay. And oh, this is, okay. this is going to be important. All right. So go back up to the top. And underneath the question mark at the very top right, there's a little dollar sign. And okay. go ahead and click on a right click or like a new tab or whatever to pull up. Not the question mark, the dollar sign. There you go. All right, so. Uh, thank you, Noodles, for the follow. Appreciate it. Got to follow. Hey, hey. Had to thank him. No, no, no. Hey, <laughs> hey Noodles. I, I said hi to Noodles. Um, okay, oh, sure. so, so <laughs> what this does is it automatically populates the ship and the modules. So that okay. if you want to go to one place and buy everything, you could. So, oh. so what I'm going to suggest you do is set planetary to no. Okay. And then two to the right of planetary, it says powers. Yeah. Click on that and move down to the guy uh, named Lee Yong Rui. Ah, I've heard about this guy. All right. So every station that he has... It's 15% off of all ships, 15% off of all modules. And that Cause he's, cov Cause he's just a homie. He's like about for yeah. whatever reason. <laughs> and then whenever you search, you can go to either one of these stations and buy the entire fucking ship. I just showed you. Okay. Go for it. Um, nice. All so right. it's uh, it's 10, 10 to 50. The moment you, Oh, actually hold on a second. Uh, because you already have the advanced discovery scanner. Oh, I technically wouldn't need to buy it. Um, I can move it off of it. Yeah, actually, okay. okay, so I took the... Uh, you don't need to take it off of yours. I took it off of mine. Yeah. Um, it drops the price of the ship to eight seven fifty. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah okay. the, well, it dropped mine to only eight. Wait, did I get rid of the discount? No. Just, it, mine still says 8,000... Or 8,937,000. Did you get rid of the discovery scanner? Yeah. <clears throat> That's all I got rid of. No, you should have been able to get rid of the advanced discovery scanner and the detailed surface scanner. Oh, and oh, and both you can get rid of both of them. Okay. Right. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I see. Yeah, okay. Yeah, eight eight million seven twenty four. There there's your ship, sir. Um Damn. There, there is something to uh, to look forward to. Um, and by the way, when you get your when you finally get the diamond back it is a big, beautiful ship with a huge um, canopy, and uh -huh. so you will be able to see everything. If you turn on mouse look and just look around, uh -huh. it's all glass. Um, and so <laughs> enjoy, uh, enjoy your ship. Yeah, I will. Okay, and, 10, um, ten million. That's not. That's uh, or eight, I, eight, eight, eight point seven. Yeah, that's that's doable. That's fucking super doable. Uh, you need you need eight point seven, and you need insurance. So you need a little over this? nine million. Um, but keep in mind, you can always sell your Viper if you want to, because, um, oh, right. Yeah. What, I probably wouldn't need it really. Well, what you could do is if you decide to take the diamond back out and do a little bit more running around, 
Uh, mm. You can get a vulture. Okay. You can get a combat vulture. Mm. And combat vultures so like a... are sweet. Okay, cool. So I can fuck around with some combat while if I don't feel like exploring all the way up to where I want to be. Now, how come I can't save this? There's a save. I, I saved a couple sh builds. From I don't. Here already. I don't know why. I don't know why the save function doesn't work. Um, I would just use the short link. I'll just. I'll leave. It, yeah, I'll leave it open. It's fine. Um. um but okay. anyway, uh, uh, optional internal. Where are we putting this bad boy? Oh wait, we're getting rid of the other one. That's right. Yeah, you're gonna get rid of the basic discovery scanner, and um, if there is a, uh, I don't know if you can buy a. Eh, it doesn't yeah, look that like thing is a, that thing is so expensive. Okay, yeah. uh, again, so what does this mean? It means I don't need to fly towards a planet anymore, right? It means I just, right. uh, I just learn. Oh wait, does this also then mean that I get? All of the bonuses for all of the planets, even though some of them suck, maybe. Okay, so you're gonna get the first. You're gonna get the first rank of discovery data for every planet in the system. Uh huh. And every star, just every celestial body, at any distance from the star. And so. Oh, so I'm gonna. So I'm. So that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna make money on the other shit that I wasn't scanning previously. But it. Well, okay. But it's not the detail. The detailed surface scanner is the thing that makes you all the money. And so the detailed surface scanner is what takes like a thirty thousand dollar planet and turns it into a seven hundred thousand dollar planet. Uh -huh. um, because it goes from being just an ex unexplored oh. world to being like a terraformable water world. Oh, 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 oh okay. Two different things. I right. thought I was replacing that. I thought I was replacing that with what I just no. got. No, 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 no. I got the, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. So, got yeah, it, now it. the one that you have to manually activate while you're in Super Cruise, that one yeah. just got a whole lot better. Okay, um, understand. But you still yeah. have to fly to the planet, face it, get close enough, and then let the little thing spin around and find the whatever yeah it'll it'll okay. take its time and then once it's done once you have everything in that system done uh just jet the hell on out of there get on to the next uh but you are you are set up sir you are in the road to riches um, yes i am feel free to continue on as long as you want uh you're all repaired and uh try not to find any more suns sweet all right they do thank you so much for your help. I really appreciate it. This has made my experience with Elite Dangerous better than I could have hoped for, you know? Yeah, yeah not a problem. Uh, oh, by the way, um, go up to your uh, uh, go up to your comms panel. Somebody, th there's a message that got dropped off for you. I think you went up a rank or two in exploration. Uh, the co-op of... It's a cordial. What, did I, what, for buying something? Thanks, I guess. <laughs> oh no no no! I'm sorry. That's for dropping off the data. Oh so oh so I got you get rep from whatever system you turn it into. Yeah, whoever the controlling oh. faction is within that system. Which is co-op of Jip and Apparently. Oh shit. Okay. All right. Well. Uh, Excuse me. Oh, there we go. Have a good one. And yeah. Congr yeah. Congratulations for getting uh, started. Thank you. I feel like I'm uh, really moving forward now. Before, I was just like, oh, I'll shoot some ships. Maybe <laughs> I'll get $2 million in a couple days. <laughs> it's, um, now that you're not going to have to worry so much about um, money, because uh -huh. anytime you need money, you just go do this for a little bit. Right, right, right. Done. Um, the only thing you're going to have to do is, if you ever want to start this back up again, you're going to need to check... Uh, you're going to need to keep in mind which either, like... How, how would you best do it? I guess what you would want to do is um, you pull up the route, and then you go down the list just putting them in, if you recognize any of them. Uh, but you would want to make sure that you haven't visited the system already, so you're not wasting your time. Right. So that would be my only thing to, to keep in mind, because uh, that would be just a damn shame to jump all the way out to somewhere and then find that you've already, you know, you already spray-painted a sign that says, been here, done that. 
and yeah. left it there for yourself to find later. Yeah. Um. But uh, yeah. So have a good one. I'm out. Cool. All right, man. Thank you. Uh, have a good night. And I will see you. Uh, I will see you flying around in Elite. Yeah. Yeah. I'm on every weeknight, so at the same time. All right, man. Well, take right, care of your ya. audience, and uh, I will see you later. Will do. All right. Night. Noodle, noodles. So here's the thing, I'm so down, because the reason I'm even doing this right now is because I eventually want to get a great combat ship. But uh, I'm so in the middle of doing this exploring thing that I'm sure you've obviously heard what's going on from me and too many Jeffs talking. But uh, I don't know, I don't understand how I would, because I've only got this ship, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have another combat ship to be able to use, and I don't really feel like going through the whole ordeal of outfitting this for combat and, <laughs> and then finding you. And You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, if I had another ship or another account or, I, I don't know, something that would make it easier to do that, I'd be down. Uh, so if you have an idea, let me know. But other than that, I feel like I kind of just have to keep going on this exploring thing I got going on. Just so that I can get to the point where if somebody asks me to do combat, I'm like, ready to go. Oh, oh, you mean so like, uh, helping me out with, uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm fucking down. I'll do that for the rest of the night. I can do this, uh, I can do this other shit anytime. Uh, if you have Discord and want to hop into the Discord, we can do it that way, or just tell me where and what I need to do. If uh, The one thing I do need to do is I need to put hard points on my, um, on my ship, because I don't have them on anymore. Uh, if you look in the description all the information at the bottom of the channel underneath the video uh there should be a discord button and you can just click that and i'm in the uh i'm in the public channel called voice dump docker 17. oh balls okay we gotta go around here Yo. On there. Yo, what's up? Oh wait, I'm muted. Stupid. All right. So, Sorry, I just realized I was muted. Yeah, I don't know how far away you are, but no. I mean, wait, are you in the bubble? Uh, I, d I couldn't tell you. I, 
I've, I, if you've been watching the stream in the last little yeah, while, you I, I probably have. figured out that I don't know what I'm doing. I've been watching for the past, like, 40 <laughs> minutes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, so, you know how to add somebody. When you're uh, docked and all that, you add me so we can get this started. Uh, yeah, let me just uh, let me scan this planet I gotta get going on here. What am I looking for here, anyway? And if you want to make a lot of money... Like, if you don't mind doing cargo stuff, you could do trading, like... Oh, yeah, I don't mind any of this stuff, really. I just, I just was just looking for the most efficient way to make money, and it seems like uh, what Jeffs was telling me to do makes a hell of a lot of sense. It was better than what I was doing. I was just going to high-risk resource extraction sites Ooh, and uh, killing people by my... Yeah. And just you know, waiting for waiting for the Federation to shoot something, and then shoot it for a second, and then grab like 250k, like really quick, you know? Yeah. Like that. It would seem pretty, but it, this is honestly faster. So I'm all about suggestions. But that being said, I enjoy combat a hell of a lot more, because that's the whole reason I'm even doing this is because I want a really good combat ship. Oh yeah, just get the Vulture, man. Great right, one. TWW. Okay. That. Let's see here. Oh, perfect. Alright, target you. Yeah, what I've been doing, I've been just been doing um, trade routes. Getting like <laughs> 3 million a jump. Okay, that's here we that's go. what I got the game for, man. It's just, I used to play a lot of Euro Truck Simulator, and I got into this. Yeah, it's so funny how so many people compare that. I only just got into this like less than a week this week this last weekend, really. Yeah. And so many people have compared it to. They're like, "Oh yeah, I played this in Euro Truck Simulator." <laughs> I got this for free, plus the season's fat pass. <laughs> really? Oh yeah, my friend got it for me. Oh shit, good friend. I, I got it during the, the summer sale, so it really wasn't too bad. Oh yeah. You uh, So I take it you don't have a Horizons? No, it was only, it was 15, because I, honestly, I wasn't sure I was going to like the game. I wasn't oh, yeah. sure I was going to be about it, but now I totally wish I had just spent the extra $10 and gotten the season pack, because it was, it was $15 for the game and like 27 for the game plus the season pass, and I was like, huh. eh, I don't know if I'm gonna, I should have realized after two, because you could return on Steam after two hours, mm -hmm. like, I would have figured out that I liked it within that much time. Okay, so, uh, I'm good, I, I'm at a good stopping point here, so, Alright, um, so, you know how to add somebody? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah. right. Did you, is this, oh, they just promoted me, okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. friends. Add friend. All right. Uh, and what is your is your name your your Twitch name? Uh, no, it's Mick Noodles underscore. Mick un like Mick underscore noodles or Mick Noodles underscore underscore uh, at the at the end. Okay. Mick. Search. Yep. All right, I just sent you a request. Yeah, I got it. Hold on a second. Talking to somebody else. I think I'm going to go... This this other one is only two jumps away, and it's got so many planets on it. I'm gonna go do this real quick. All right. Okay, let's see where you are. And you could try. In fact, if you want to, if you want to look it up, uh, where, uh, it's here. Let me paste, let me just paste it in Twitch real quick. Oh no, I could. Uh, and that way, where... it'll be where I it'll be where I am. I can see you are uh, where you are in the galaxy map if I have you added. Oh, okay. Let's see. Right. Oh, I'm you're, so you're right in now. solo play. I can't 
see you. Oh, I need so I need to get out of this. Okay, should I do that before I jump over this? I mean, you're not place? gonna see you're not gonna see anybody. Okay. All right, let me save next to main menu. So I just do, I just do open, right? Not private group. Open, you. Yeah. I mean, we could do okay. a private group. I don't, I don't I've never, I've never even d played anything other than solo, so I wasn't even sure what, <laughs> what to do. Okay. Hundred and twenty seven light years from the art. I'll be there in a bit. Okay. What are you doing all the way out there? I'm exploring. Oh, okay. In, in that ship? <laughs> uh, well, because I'm all I'm doing is I'm exploring to get enough money to get a diamond back explorer. Oh, uh, when we're done. We're, you're probably gonna have enough money for a diamond back. Uh, perfect. That sounds good. Yeah, because by the time I'm, by the time you meet up with me, I'll already have probably three or four million, and I need about twelve, or I need about thirteen. Oh yeah, we're good. You can get that much money from bounty hunting. Uh yeah, but it's not gonna be quick, quick, quick. Around thirteen yeah, I got million. About, it's gonna uh, take a while. I got about an hour and a half. Before I have to hop off, so yeah, that's yeah. how long I can play for. <clears throat> okay, so we need to go to three, four, two, and five. Why would it put? Yeah, you're outside the bubble. <laughs> oh, am I now? Yeah, you are. Oh, well, shit. I'm going to need to go back inside to get myself some hard points. Yep. I think there's, like, a population in the place you're at. No, there's no population. Yeah, you're in the coal sector. Uh, there's a population next to you. 13,000. I mean, I can't see what's inside of it. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, fig I'll figure it out as soon as I get these planets here real quick. Guess I'll do another slave run. I'm gonna send you a wing invite. Okay. Alright, there we go. Okay. 
one. The only weapons you should get on the ships are burst lasers. You there? Hello?
Oh, I just realized my mic was muted from a minute ago. <laughs> uh, I'm almost about to get the uh, <coughs> the pulse lasers. Are you there? Am I even talking? Oh, I'm not even in here.
Oh, son of a bitch, dude. you're out of <laughs> All good. I had actually left my my mic on mute for a second too, and I was like, "Oh, he doesn't hear me." All right, I figured it out. All right. So anyway, I'm just putting on the pulse lasers now in the system that I'm in now. So just let me know where I need to go, and we should be good. All right. Um. I should just put on small hard points, right? Like it doesn't even fucking matter. Uh, just put on what you could afford. Okay. Because you're like uh, you're you'll earn that money back. All right, in that case, I'm going to put on some nice pulse lasers then. Fuck it. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's see exactly how far away you are from me. Um. Okay. You're like still not in the bubble. Uh, how far is it? You're like 126 jumps. What's your jump range of that ship? Uh, 10. 10? Well, slightly over 10. All it's right. not good. It's not good, my man. <laughs> why, why were you all the way out there in that thing? Well, because I was planning on, uh, as soon as I got to 12, I was going to fucking hop back and get my diamond back, and then we'd be straight. I had a plan. I had a... You're you're disrupting the plan. <laughs> is what's happening right here. I'm down though cuz I want to shoot some shit. All right, I'm good. <clears throat> I set well, my fire group and then I'm straight. Okay, good cuz I got a a good location. It's just over here and it's probably going to take you like 20 jumps to get here, man. Holy shit. Yeah, that's not chill. Is there no place in between us? Um I'm I'm gonna look for that right now. I'm just jumping into my my fertilance. Good thing I finished the cargo run. 
when I go. Hell yeah. Pulse lasers for days, dude. start jumping towards you and I'm gonna okay. see if there's anything between us alright I mean I am in my combat ship so take me a bit I've got 10 jumps should I jump towards you, too? Oh, uh, no. There's nothing for me. Okay, let me see what's in this. Do I even know what's in the system? Probably jack shit. Yeah, there's nothing here. So wait, does this EDDB website help you find, like... Because I assume you're looking for extraction sites or, or some something else. Um, or conflict zones. I'm looking for extraction sites. I don't really use that use that for extraction sites. I use it for more of a looking for Fine. planets with materials on it.
six more trumps. Don't know if I can survive that. Uh, I think I might be coming close to one uh, place we could bounty hunt. Okay. 78716. Hold on, let me just jump there and make sure. HIP 78716? Yeah. There's no available route for me. Oh, um, then just a guy to plot somewhere else. Because that's my final destination until I got a refuel. Okay. Even, even the next closest one is... Holy fuck. 13 jumps for me. <laughs> I could start making my way over there, though, and we can find something in between that and this. Alright, um... Let me just see. Cause I gotta I'm refuel gonna, regardless. I'm just gonna start jumping. Alright. Just keep a lookout for populations and extractions. Extraction sites. Seven thousand light seconds away. <laughs> Hate that shit. I was looking at something. Mm. 
Wait, so how much money do you have now? Uh, I've got 700 grand on me. Oh, okay. But I've probably got about, I don't know, maybe 2 million ready to be turned in. I saw you had 2 million in, uh, uh, things before. Bounties? Not, yeah, not bounties, um... Data scans? Yeah, data scans. What happened to that? You didn't turn in? I, no, because I, ju I just, as soon as I finished the last one I was doing... Oh, I should have just turned it into the station that I was at. I forgot about that, but whatever. Just pulling into another system right now. It says I have seven more jumps to get to the sector uh, that was close to you. Yeah, don't worry about that anymore. There's other okay. systems. There's one right below you, uh. Okay. Curio ghost saggages. But I had to scan the nav beacon to see if there's anything useful there. Because we're out in the bubble. Yeah, that's just two jumps away from me. I was actually about to hit it on my way there anyway. Damn, the density of the stars is so crazy when you get towards the center of the galaxy. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've never been there. The closest I've been is like... Or the farthest I've been from the bubble is like 7,000. Light years. Oh my god, they're everywhere. God, the scale of this game is like staggering. Yeah, I got like 2,000 hours in the game. God, so, you know what's crazy is how much better it is than No Man's Sky. Oh yeah, I had No Man's Sky before this game. <laughs> Such a fucking terrible game compared yeah. to this. Like this is what I th what I expected No Man's Sky to be like, with the exception of, you know, the whole going onto planets and mm -hmm. seeing animals and stuff. You can do a degree of that, I guess, in this game with the horizons, but. Uh, which I don't have. I haven't tried it. But to me, all that seems is like you can you go to like ports that are on the surface. Like, what's the benefit of landing on planets? Um, you collect stuff on planets. I mean, you can go exploring on planets. There's a lot of stuff you could explore, like the alien ruins and stuff like that. Uh huh. Oh, okay. I was there yesterday, I think, with a friend. Yeah, it was yesterday. Should I go to Curio Sages? Uh, go to the system I'm in. Go go to your system? Yeah, yeah, Curio Sages. 
Oh, that's oh yeah, you're in there. Okay, okay, I see. I'm just gonna drop by the nav beacon. Hey, Commander Tony. Sorry, I didn't see your message till now. I'm not used to looking at my chat window. It's funny, I've gotten more action in my channel playing this game than anything. Because I usually play, like, you know, bigger games. Like, I was playing For Honor for a while, and then Final Fantasy XIV when it came out. No one comes into a channel this small when there's 2,000 people trying to watch. But when there's only a couple hundred people come in. Uh, I'm Anyway, I'm playing an open Me and uh, McNoodles, who's in the Discord with me right now, we're going to do some combat. You're welcome to join us. But we're definitely not meeting up with you, because we spent the last 45 minutes meeting up with each yeah, other. Yeah, come jump up here, buddy. <laughs> Whoops. I'm not paying attention. Best conditions, but it'll work. Okay, I'm here. Alright, um. Uh. So you're the blue thing, I assume? Uh, yeah, yeah. I have my nav beacon on. Wait, what do you mean blue thing? What do you mean on your. It's, uh, it's blue on. Maybe your UI has changed colors, but. Oh, yeah, 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 sure. I, I got the opposite. Your orange. I'm going to. AB1 planet. You got a uh, scanner on you, so just scan the system and you can. Okay, AB1? Yep. Well, I'm. Uh, it's a ring planet, so I'm hoping there's a. Uh, has res there. Oh wait, I can't see the name of it because everything's unexplored to me. Oh, A, B, 1. Okay, I see. Hi, okay, I understand. Yeah. Sorry, I'm still getting used to this. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not a PS4 player. I, I mean, I mostly play my PS4, and to be honest, I had half a mind to get this game for PS4. In fact, that's what made me buy it now. But it was uh, it was only fifteen dollars on the Steam Summer Sale, and uh, to be completely honest, I thought I wasn't going to like the game. So I was like, "Oh, I'll cut my losses and just I'll buy it on Steam, and within two hours, if I feel like I don't like it, I'll just return it." Bad news. There's none here. There's nothing there. Should we try two? Uh, no, that's too far. I could just probably find something. I can fly straight into two right now. Oh, I I found I found a good one actually right now. Okay. That has 5.8 million people in it. Uh, Shawnee, that's its name. Okay. It's a good one. Really good. High chance of having one. Okay. All right. Three jumps for me. Well, it's only like ten light years. 
Are you on economic? Oh fuck, maybe I am. Hold on, let me check. That would be stupid, huh? I totally am. All right, now it's just, now it's just two. Let's. It has no ring ringed planets. Wait, so go there or don't go there? Uh, don't. Just find it out. Because we're, we're really, we're like a few, like a hundred light years outside the bubble, so. I mean, can't we? Oh, that's right, so. I <laughs> you want to jump back there. No, I mean, it, it doesn't make a difference to me. Uh, I'm just trying to be economic about this and find some place that we're already close to because I I can only play for another like an hour basically. Oh yeah, that's what I'm trying to find a place near here. Seeing another system if they have it. It's gotta be one around here. Shit. System map. Two stars, a belt, and a system. Not a good one. this no is <clears throat> why are all these extraction so extraction Okay, I'm gonna try this one. But uh, this one has one. Okay. Hazardous resource. All right. Do you want to check it out before I jump there, or you want me to head over there? It's it's guaranteed. It's, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm locked onto one right now. I mean, the station's pretty far. It's like four thousand light seconds, but that's it's like a minute, two minutes travel.
Oh, what a beautiful planet. On my way. Oh, is that a brown dwarf? Oh, man. So nice. <sighs> Yeah, I just got back in this game like, probably two weeks ago, after like a six month break, got bored of it, and I'm back. Well, what changed within the six months? Was, was there anything in like recent patches that made it better? Or? Uh, nothing really. Just uh, probably the alien stuff. I mean, I still follow the game. Game's lore. Yeah. Yeah, because they only found about out about the aliens like not too long ago, right? Like maybe three or four months ago. Oh yeah, I was already invested into the game when they first found an alien crash site. I find that really cool about this game like how it literally the lore unravels itself as people explore the universe oh yeah like, it's really cool uh oh shit okay so which resource extraction site am i going to the hazardous one it's on my beacon if you nab lock onto me um press two and then go down to my name then engage wingman nab lock Fly spool. Uh, Wait, you can't engage. Find it? Yeah, engage. We might have never locked. <laughs> Shit. I came out of, uh, I wasn't paying attention while I was looking for that. Oh, you're here. Wow, I just happened to, okay, cool. Just fighting little puny ships, get this stuff rolling. Nice, dude. Yeah, this is much better. I'm about this. Ship looks fucking tight with all that, like, pink trails. Oh, yeah. Recently bought that stuff. Okay, that guy's cool. So if you run your uh, your warrant scanner, does that count for me too, or would uh, I have to run my own? It counts for you too. Oh, perfect. Okay. Dried out that easily. I think we might need to restart the instance. Right. Is that how it works? Like when we spawn into it, it like... Yeah, there's a good chance that you'll get a good, good amount of shit. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I just found something. Is that a gunship? That is a gunship. Is there a way to target your target? Oh, uh, it's clean. Uh, yeah, I think it's M or something. I, every, everybody, yeah, uh, don't, <laughs> don't ask people that again, because everybody has, like, custom controls. Right, right, right. Yeah, let's restart the instance. What does that mean? So just fly out of it? Yeah, just jump out. Oh, 
Oh, uh... Just tell me when you- oh, you're in D-Space, okay. Just... 180. So, oh, I don't need to frameshift drive out of it? I just need to... Oh, uh, yeah, frameshift drive out of it. Okay. I'm out. Yeah, I'm just... So should I fly back to you? Yeah, in a second. I'm just taking screenshots. Nice planet. Um, um, we're going back to the same place. Just lock onto it and drop out. Drop into it. Ah, better. That's really better. Again? See what I'm locked onto? Let's see if I can try that. No, M doesn't work. Uh, yeah, that guy. Oh, it shows you what I'm locked onto as well? Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. There's like an orange thing around it. Okay, I see. This guy's gonna be nice, dude. Yeah, you're probably getting like 200,000 from him. Yeah. It's gonna be real nice, buddy. Damn, we got a bunch of shields. I probably have more shields than him. Another target. So how much did you get for that? Oh, we get the same amount of money. Okay, so it's the exact same. Okay. Yeah, hold on. Let me just reboot my ship. My ship. So my shields are generating faster. Oh, is that faster if you reboot your ship?
pythons attacking each other. Ah, uh, that one's clean. We got a nice, nice roll, man. Better hurry up for this one. Coming. there. Uh, five kilometers. <laughs> Target shields online. Target cargo dropped. Jenna's trying to take a nice picture. <laughs> Another Bitch. guy near us. I found him. Fucking chafe launchers, dude. I swear to God. Yeah, I got all fixed too, so. When they do that, I just put all my pips to systems. Does that help? Oh, it helps with targeting. No, it, uh. Right? I, I, it makes your shield a lot stronger. Oh, so you don't waste time. Like, it makes. Since you're not firing your weapons. It helps your shields out, is that what you're saying? Yeah. That's what I do for PvE. That makes sense. PvP is a lot different than this. Nice. Very nice. Alright, let's go back down to the zone, because we're too far from spawning. Wow, I've already got like 600 grand in bounties. Oh yeah. Goes a lot faster if I'm in a bigger ship too. I'm gonna reboot. Wait, it says I'm wanted. Mm, are you? Is that a problem? Yeah, don't worry. Not out here. We're in, we're, yeah, we're in a zone that doesn't make a difference, right? Yeah, it's not going to make a difference out here in the Hazaras.
Yeah, you are. Oh, you clipper. Who wanted? Oh, only 127k. Rebooting again. Oh. We shooting him? Uh, not yet. He's in a wing of two, so watch out. Focus fire on the ass. Damn. This is so much fun with a wingman? Holy shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Put two plasma accelerators on that thing. Who are we shooting? I don't want to shoot something we're not. Oh. Uh, well, he, he's out again. Let me just. I was targeting somebody else. constantly do this I'm still in the process of fully engineering this make it faster it's not the fastest it could go oh, bumped into you all good
Oh, drop ship. Oh, forget about him, his anacondas. <clears throat> Another one over here. It'll be going after Charles Sang. Yeah, I'll tell you in a second. Just uh, Yeah, Charles Sang, let me just position. Okay. Okay, I'll just keep locked on. I'm gonna aim at his power plant. So you can pick where you're shooting him? Oh, sub-targets. Go to sub-targets. I can't... Can I do that? Yeah. Oh, su sub-targets, huh? It's really easy to hit the uh, power plant on these things. How do you... How do you sub-target? I uh, see... One, sub-targets. It's where you're navigating. Oh, 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 oh. Sub-targets is a whole menu. Okay. It's on the bottom of the ship. Oh, I targeted the power distributor. Uh, sorry. What am I? What am I targeting? Uh, the power plant. All right. No shit. All right. Cool. I didn't know about that. Thank you. Uh, I jumped away. Fucker. Yeah. I okay. Uh, me. what else? We got a. There's another one. I mean, I just. Yeah, we got a because... uh, Isaac. Isaac Clark is who I got. Yeah. Right here. Shoot out immediately. Oh, he's aiming at me. That ship is like three times my size. Oh, he's got a fighter as well. Shit. So, regardless of what you're targeting, does the do the shields absorb it no matter what? Yeah. So you just, like get past the shields first. Yeah. Unless you uh, get a special thing for the stuff. A special thing for the stuff. All right. Uh, that fighter's killing me. Shields are down. Oh, no. We're good. We got him. Okay. Bye. Clipper on my right, just eyeing me. Oh, my power might turn off. Uh, yeah, if I just randomly log off, that's my, my power to my house. The, the, so your entire... Well, yeah, then I wouldn't hear you either, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, your just, house... Does that just happen to your house on a regular basis? Uh, it's where I live. Oh, shimmy grub. You going after him? Heracle. Oh, yeah, show me grub, yeah. I was looking at his ship, man. Ah. Things are just as maneuver, probably more maneuverable than my ship. Oh, sometimes these don't, these things don't even shoot at you. <laughs> so, so. Why, yeah, why is he not doing anything? Uh, they're, they're really bugged in that ship. The hard points are really far apart, and they're autistic about it. Sometimes they put fixed weapons on them, on the two nacelles, <laughs> on the farthest and most points. Where fixed is mandatory on the, that ship. Huh. Or not fixed. Um, turrets, right? Turrets are gambled, yeah. Yeah.
bitch. Damn, how much money are we looking at now? Woo! Well over a million. Like 1.1, 1 1.2. 1 you could get in the slave trading, buy yourself a Type 6. <laughs> <sighs> well, so what So what do you think about what Jeff's told me to do about the exploration as far as how fast it is? Because, I mean, obviously I want to get to, like, your level, say, you know? Like, I, I need, like, half a billion fucking dollars. I mean, I have, like, two billion in assets, but to my level, I'm just flying around, just... Doing stuff because I like it. Not I don't have a goal. No, no, exa really. no, exactly, exactly though. But so I just started, right? And all I've got mm -hmm. is this stupid Viper Mark IV, and I'm trying to get to like Battle Conda status. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like as fast as I possibly can. And oh, from uh, what I do slave trading, man. Like, um, if you really want to, I could. Wait, how much money do you have right now? So you know, I'm only I'm holding. 678,000 and then I've got about 1.2 in my uh if I turn in my bounties. All right, well, the way I'm re going to recommend is you got to spend money to make money. So right. how I do it, right? I buy and trade. And I got like a system where I just need to jump once. For for me, it's like 17 light years. Uh-huh. I get 3 million cuz I could like one jump for three million because I get like a seven. But doesn't that have to do with like your rep and like what kind of missions you're getting? Oh no, these aren't missions. These are buy and sell. Buy and oh, trade. this is just this is straight up trade. Okay. Yeah. You uh buy slaves for a uh, low price and you sell them for a profit. Going after this guy? Yeah, I'm just scoping out there. Uh, go after this one. The one he's shooting at, because he's distracted. <laughs> Wait, how did. Did he just. Did he just somehow get rid of my targeting him? Oh, he, he uh, deployed a heat sink. Oh, that will untarget your target? Yeah, you target based on heat. That hasn't happened to me before. That's actually pretty uh, pretty useful. Oh, God, another anaconda. All right, cool. Let's just reboot. <laughs> I'll wait till you reboot. Yeah, when I reboot, everything's dead in my ship, but my life support. I'm just gonna double check before I shoot, see if he has a fighter bay on. Ow. Don't have him targeted. No fighter bay, okay. He doesn't like me. Oh wow, we're fucking murking his ass, dude. How come he's going down so much easier? No, oh, because like got his power point specifically. Wow, get fucking wrecked, bitch. Woo! Super tight. Oh, I love these ship designs. Oh, I, I have a target. I'm coming. What am I under attack from? Ow. B 
beams. Fuck you! Yeah! Okay, how much money did I accumulate? Mm, around 1.5 or 6. I gotta piss real fast, I'll be right back. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Are you starting? Uh. What was it? Oh no, we don't need a restart. Plenty supply. Probably take out a few more ships than I'll uh, <laughs> cash us in. Yeah, I, yeah, that'd be ideal, actually. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, if you're interested in the slave trade stuff, I could send you my uh, thing. What I use. You uh buy from. It's like you buy from the station. Then you jump to another station, you get like a good profit from it, and you buy from. Yeah, so it's just station. like any other trading, except what you gotta use black markets and stuff. No, um, it's legal in Empire space for slaves. Oh no shit! <clears throat> there are two kinds of slaves. There's the uh, imperial slaves that, which are like indentured servants, and then there's the other ones, the the, the really illegal ones. Right. I see a dangerous clipper here that I'm gonna cash this in. Oh, it's in a wing of three. Okay. Uh, a wing of three with two Viper Mark IVs. Okay. Focus fire on the clipper. Let's 
targets. Damn, you're so much faster than me. Oh, I could go faster if I engineer. <laughs> I'm sure you could. Okay, let's see how this goes. Yeah, I knew he was going to do that. Ow, ow. What am I getting hit by? Ow. Something else is attacking me. Should I fight it or fight what you're fighting? Uh-oh. Uh -oh, my shields are gone. Okay. Put everything in systems. Alright, I'm... No, don't reboot gotta, systems. I'm... Right now. Alright, uh, when you have a chance, uh, jump away. Yeah. I'll distract him. Oh, oh no. Fuck no, dude. Uh, yeah, they get on mass locked. Just yeah, I'm, jump I'm up. I'm gone. Oh, you got, you got out? Yeah. Alright, sweet. Well, I'm I'm charging, but uh, I'm about to be. Oh, okay, sweet. You got your shields up, cool. Oh fuck, my charging's taking forever. Yeah, just keep boosting. They're still shooting at me. Uh, put all pips to systems. Yeah, I did. Oh fuck, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is it almost up? Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna make it's gonna be close, dude. It's gonna be close. No! No! Please don't kill me! No! Oh, dude! Fuck. fuck! God damn it! Son of a bitch, dude! I was almost there! Oh! <laughs> oh no! Fuck my life, dude! Oh no! I'm over it. Alright, cool, dude. Uh, let me friend you, because I'm going to all F4 this bitch real quick. Yeah, I'm already friends with you. Thank you, though. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. God damn, that fucking sucks, dude. That means I lost the other data I didn't turn in, too, huh? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, I hate you. Yeah, I know a, <laughs> a place where you could bring that back pretty quick with no combat. What does that mean? Enter the slave trade. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Well, this has been entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna Thank you, though. Drop it in chat. So I, uh... I play and I stream from uh, 8 o'clock to midnight, like, uh, every weeknight. Yeah, I got you on my Pacific. notifications. All right, cool. All right, man. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. That was fun. It, it, even though I didn't get to reap any of the rewards, it was a lot of fun. So yeah, thank man. you. <laughs> All, right. All right, later. All right, man.